sorry. I had to get that. You can't start without the knob. You can't start without the knobs right. Right, April? The knobs. The knobs need to be. The knobs need to be. The Roadcaster. The Roadcaster. Oh, God, get your knobs right. Happy Monday. Get your knobs right. Get them tight. Get them right. I can't imagine. Just like, what are they? If they're loose, it's very apparent it's loose. Look. Like, so once they're tight, once you get it how you want it and then tighten them, there's really never a need to ever... This is just nervous. You know, this is just fat girl nervous energy. Sorry to all the fat girls in the chat. Fearless. <laughs> this woman's gonna kill me. Uh, hit the like button. I have to leave KB alone for a while. We gotta get back onto Fearless and trying to hook her up with Stevie Lou. Her favorite man. Oh my God, I don't even know where to go today. It's too much. I could I could really, you know, Steel Toe thinks that we're like a Steel Toe hate show. He said we were the official Steel Toe hate show. And um, I was thinking about it. And I was thinking, like, we could technically, we're not, you know, I mean, I, I get it. When you're being attacked and when your whole show is being overrun and things start going badly and you're making less money and everybody's being mean to you and Citizen M is cutting together videos that tease you and ridicule you. I get it. I get it. It can be hard for a Midwestern nobody to let that. East Coast, West Coast, hate wash over them. You know, the guys guys born in the middle of the country, no offense, you know, they're tough in different ways. They're tough in different ways. They're tough in, like, go hunting, change attire. Not movie, but normal men from the middle of the country are, like, you know, salt-of-the-earth farmer types. They're not used to the, I don't know, the battlefront of, the East Coast, West Coast online hate. You know, they go online and they're like, hey, how come nobody's telling us where to buy hay? They're all saying our show sucks. This is how Aaron and April should talk. Hi, how come everybody's being so mean? Hi, that's how. Just because they don't talk like that doesn't mean you shouldn't hear their voices like that when they speak. They're, because that more closely matches their intelligence level. You know, if they're like, hi, hi, April's going to go up and get me a Diet Mountain Dew. Y'all want anything? <laughs> sweet tea? They're not in the South. I don't know why I said sweet tea. Y'all, can I get y'all an orange Celsius or some sort of strawberry root beer Red Bull? Could I get y'all <laughs> strawberry root beer Red Bull? Hey, could I get y'all a lemon drop NOS? Hey, could I go to my, my garage fridge and get y'all something? Y'all need something? Could I get y'all could I get y'all a splurt energy <laughs> energy drink? Y'all wanna splurt? We got all the flavors. Y'all wanna splurt? Anybody wanna splurt? I'm going down to the garage fridge. Anybody need a splurt? Anybody want a Jolt Cola or some sort of caffeinated something or other? Hey! Hey, y'all want a Splurt Cola? Splurt Cola. Yeah, people are saying that the Southern accent makes them sound endearing. Yeah, that's the last thing I want to do. Sorry. I don't want to make anybody sound endearing. Hey, can I go get y'all... Hey, can I go get y'all uh, a NAS energy drink? What's he drinking now? Fucking hell. Oh, my God. My allergies have already started today. I'm 
Sorry for running late. My uh, my car wouldn't start, and I had to go get Johnny Crunchman. I had to go get Johnny Crunchman this morning to do my my morning show, my Monday morning show that you've all come to know and love. Hit the like button. We're doing it Monday morning. I got it. Go, 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 go. Hit the button. Hit the button. Come on. How can we have 200 people? 40 people have hit the button. It really hurts. It really, really hurts, everybody. Come on. I don't have to be here. I can go back to bed. It's daylight savings time. I can play dumb. I could have been like, oh, no, we sprung forward. I forgot. I forgot. Oh, no. I forgot all about the spring and the forward and the setting of the clocks. Uh, Mason in Portland, a.k.a. Portland Shane Gillis, member for 10 months, is happy to be here. Thank you, Slapjaw, for becoming a new member as well as Buck Naked. Ian Hawks is member for 12 months. Is that true? Ian Hawk. What, is, what should we do about this guy, huh? This Ian Hawk. Oh, no, the roadcaster. Anyway, thank you very much to today's uh, executive producer. Oh, Disgracy. Disgracy. Boy, did we turn this around or not? And I think she's, try she's trying to go by disgraced mother of 19 or something nowadays. Anyway, thank you, Disgracy, for supporting the show after, you know. Look, did she give us the $186,000 or whatever? No, but she did come back. She has supported the show in many ways. And, you know, it's all about swallowing that pride and re reconfiguring your life. It's what I try to do here. And thanks to all the March members of the NLO String of Truth and Honor. Um, we couldn't do this without you. Um, yeah, we probably could. I don't want to lie to you. I don't want to tell you uh, falsehoods. Could we do this without TIFF? Yes. Yes. Um, so, you know, that's just the truth, Tiff. We don't fucking need you. Beat it. Oh, would my fridge be more empty? Would I not have as much cheese? Sure. Sure. Would we not know as much about the Pacific Northwest and its bountiful apple crops? Yes, we wouldn't know anything about that. But would we live? Yes. Nobody needs Tiff. Nobody. Nobody. So beat it, you old cheese bitch. Just kidding. Nobody needs uh, Sheila aliens. Nobody needs, um, by the way, Sheila aliens with these. You know, she's trying to get you onto these chemtrails. They're all fighting on Twitter about it. I know, I know. Every time, a, every time a United Airlines flight flies over my house, I get the sniffles too. Coincidence? I don't think so. I think American Airlines and United Airlines are in a plot to dump chemicals on the population from each and every flight. This is why they never have room for your bags. The whole plane's full of poison that they're dropping on unsuspecting people. And, um, you know, so then they were not able to, we're not able to live our lives freely because the planes are dropping the chemicals onto our brains and frying our brains. Do I have it right? Sheila aliens. I don't, I want to, I want to represent correctly the, uh, <laughs> the sentiment of the Sheila aliens radio program station. Krautcat says, I'll take a ruby red squirt Red Bull raspberry rock star. Thank you. I mean, it really is. Hey, could I get you guys some sort of caffeinated energy drink with sprinkles? They all have sprinkles in them now, right? <laughs> That's what adults love. Who knew? You know, I, I, I'm with Chad. My dad used to drink coffee out of a mug and smack me over the head with it if I didn't act right. And that's how parents should be. You know, and it can, you can course correct. You can get hit in the head with a coffee mug and go, oh, better get my shit together. Or you can get hit by hit in the head by a coffee mug like Chad and 
cower into a fetal position and, and swear off coffee your entire adult life. Imagine your, your stepfather smacked you in the head with a mug and you let that ruin coffee for you your entire life. You were afraid of mugs. You can't walk by a Hudson News in an airport. If they have a souvenir mug rack out, in cap display, you're going to lose your mind. You're like, oh, step daddy, why? You can't, you can't walk by a rock star roasters without getting a whiff of the beans. <laughs> without having flashbacks. Ah, daddy used to beat me with a drinking vessel of similar shape and size. Ah, <laughs> you know, why not grow up and like coffee? Why not grow up and learn to drink coffee and stick it to your old stepdad? No, 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 no. Chad disavows anything adult. Unless it's salmon in a tin tray. <laughs> Ashley LaRue, I needed Celsius to combat all the movie quotes uh, to maintain the house while C-Cups played video games. He liked Roblox because of the younger lady. Oh, no. Oh, no. Does movie have a children's YouTube channel we don't know about? You know these, like, 22-year-old dudes who, like, play video games for children? What are you... How's that gonna... I literally... I watched... I was in uh, the UK. My friend's kids are watching, like, YouTube kids. There's like a 24 year there's like a 24 year old guy playing a video game like one of these one of these it's almost like one of those phone video games it's like retarded you're just like jumping a truck over and over again trying to see how far you can get set the high score and he's like playing this game and it's like clearly it's a kid's YouTube channel and he's he's 24 years old he's saying shit like this like oh no guys we almost got it oh yeah oh Let's see how far we can jump it this time. Oh, we almost beat the record. Come on, gang. We can get it. We can get it. Oh, come on, guys. Yeah, let's. Oh, yeah, let's add the turbo boosters to the truck. All right, gang. What do you think? What do you think? We're going to get it this time, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, guys. Okay, we're revving it up here. We give it a go. It's like. And, and look, by the way, the guy, you know, the guy's got millions of views on YouTube and kids are watching this, but I, I find it hard to believe that you don't turn into a fucking mush main, mush brained idiot. Just talking like that to kids. What if I did a morning podcast show for kids? All right, gang, get in here. Everybody hit the like button. There you go. Grab your lunch. We're going to eat an apple. Sweet tango as it sounds. Sound is a pound, mate. Sound is a pound, mate. All right, we're doing steel toe today. We got a lot of steel toe. If you remember Friday, they dumped a uh, a bucket of water on the roadcaster. Sorry, a Yeti full. A Yeti full. <laughs> and we had some arguments in the chat about whether or not you call one of these a Yeti. Is this a Yeti full? I, I, I you can. I, I, it's just a, I never heard it that way. In my circles, when people describe a Yeti, they're talking about a giant, like, a cooler. Like a big ice chest. Yeti. But I guess people call these Yetis because it's the only Yeti they know. I guess there are people out there who think Yeti is a cup maker. So that's pretty cool. Um, Johnny Crutch is, of course, live this morning. Oh, no. Where's, uh, hold on. This is live. Watson. Aaron needs a diaper. A diaper? Ooh. Where's Aaron? Where's Aaron? They're talking about diapers. He must be pooping. Again, the only pro show in the world where they where they where they get up to eat and poop and clean. <laughs> horrible. You'd get dog hair in there. Why would you do that? That would be horrible. Test that. Yes, let's watch Johnny Crutchman run the show. This should be good. This should be actually really good. I thought I don't know how diabetes works. So have we seen him eat? Don't forget Lieutenant Dutch Oven, says Jeff Jordan. Oh, God. Lieutenant Dutch Oven. Jesus Christ. Okay, Aaron, get a piss bucket. Yeah, Aaron, get a piss bucket. It's unanimous. 
This, he's just been out. gone to piss well, this whole Lions time. Only got three down. Well, I mean, <coughs> that's a bit. That's a look. That's a bit. It's a bit presumptuous. Twelve lines. That seems like a lot. If you remember when uh, Steel Toe was in Vegas, Johnny did a whole show by himself. We never covered. It was basically this. I mean, it's unbearable, right? You will pee often. So what do you mean, Sandy Squatch? You will pee often. I don't. I haven't had to pee yet. Yeah, the, Sandy Squatch saying you pee often. Uh, I bet Aaron has a bladder infection and a UTI. No, I I don't. Okay, um, I want to go back to the beginning of the show because if you remember Friday, they spilled the Yeti. They had to save the roadcaster. I, I've never heard anybody handle wet electronics as badly as Moob. But let's hear uh, how the weekend went. Let's hear about the roadcaster. Why do they still have a picture of Corey in the background? Well, good question. Let me see if I can help you out with that. I do have a theory slash answer. Good morning, everybody, and welcome. You see... They printed a banner for their show, and they decided to put images on the bottom of it. One of the images, like April and Aaron in the snow, cuddling and canoodling, like a selfie a couple would take. And they were like, you know what? That should be in the background of our show for all time, us cuddling in the snow. What are some other great photos that really convey steel toe to people? They were like, what about a really bad picture of Corey Adam against a green screen? And we'll just cut that out as a square, and it'll be great. It'll just be like a green block with Cor Corey Adam in it in the background of our show forever. Forever. That'll just be part of our new look. And Aaron was like, great idea, April. Green square with Corey Adam in it for the life of the program. Just in the background. And there's three other pictures of just that make no sense down on the bottom of this banner. Again, you want the background of your show to be a banner of your logo? Fine. Why put four little photos of vacations and friends at the bottom for no reason? So really, really insane. And they'll never get a new one because that banner is $100. It's 100 bucks to get a banner printed. You know, it's the same reason Errol, uh, April's not allowed to have a mic arm. We don't have that kind of budget over here. We don't. They don't have money for hats. Can we go to Steel Toucan Sambo's clip? I got to go over to Steel Toe Boring Show. They love it when you steal all their stuff over there. Look, this is a new clip over at... Ah! Ah! This is a real uh, clip I saw last week, I think. Am I going to be able to find it? They were talking again about how they can't afford to make hats. By the way, nobody likes onions.com slash store. Where is it? Uh, pick yourself up something. The uh, winter stuff is going to be going away soon. All this winter stuff is going to be going away soon. We have a lot of new logo gear, long sleeve shirts, short sleeve shirts, hoodies, hats. Of course, all the Rod Pocket stuff over there. Rod Pockets. It's going to be going away forever. Rod it's your chance to get it and your chance to get it now. The Warhol Nanner put stuff going to be gone forever. And of course, we have all the uh, Chad uh, gummy chainsaw designs. A drunk man, um, Air Zumok, uh, the hack flag. There's some great stuff over there. If you haven't had a chance, at least wander over there and have a look while you have some money in your pocket burning a hole. Okay? Nobody likes onions.com slash store. They want to get these... Uh, they really want to get these hats going, the Steel Toe Morning Show. They, they've been trying to get hats for years. And there was a clip, I think, last week where they brought up hats again. <laughs> they, they really want to do hats, but it's just not the right time. The show's not making money. Even though, you know, he keeps telling us it's growing. You've never seen it grow like it is. They have twice the audience of... All the shows that have hats, they have twice the audience of those shows, but they can't afford to do hats. Where is it? Hold on. Where is it? There was a. I only want to do this to show you like how well they're doing. While they tell you how well they're doing, they can't afford hats. No, 
Now I'm 17 days back. I got to sort these by new. Sorry. This is what happens when I try to show you guys something I didn't plan on showing you guys. They had a whole thing about hats. <laughs> we want to get hats. We're planning on getting hats. We really want to get hats. Hold on, I'm going to have to search. It's 2024 and Steel Toes still don't have money for hats. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. Hats. Why is it so funny? Guys, we need you all to team up. 150 is the number. Let's do it. Uh, Skeezy says all zero times you release new merch. I want my damn hat. I'm trying, buddy. I am trying. This company, when I say it runs on a fucking shoestring, if I had enough to order all you guys' hats, I, it'd fucking be done by now. I just... If that's shoestring or any... If we had enough money to order hats, it would be done by now. Guys, quit asking for hats. If we had money for hats... They'd be done by now. Guys, can you please grow up? We're on a shoestring budget. We barely have enough money for our shoestrings, for our logo shoestrings. You think we have enough money for hats? Team up. 150 is the number. Let's do it. Uh, Skeezy says all zero times you release new merch. I want my damn hat. That was the other thing. Remember, when you become a VIP member... You get all the new merch they release. <laughs> all the hats, all the sweatshirts, all that. You get all the new merch. I'm trying, buddy. I am. When you're a VIP member, you get all the new merch for free. Here's the here's the rub. They never release new merch. They never release new merch. So, you, uh, you know, you never get anything new, but then they're not lying to you. Hello. What's up, fat boy? Oh, wow. Aggressive. How you doing? It's aggressive. You feeling better? Yeah, I'm great. Good. Why'd you block me from the chat, you pussy? Excuse me? <laughs> Why'd you block me from the chat? Do and then you, think, you stop gifting me. Do you think I know who do you free. think I know who you are? You think I have a fucking you clue who this me is? Memberships are free when I called you out for it. You stopped give do you think I gift memberships? Yeah, I do. Do you think I know who this is? Doesn't matter. So how could I you're like, why'd you block me from the chat? I don't know who you are. So, all right. Well, good talk, man. Really, really prepped and keep us posted. <laughs> hey, why'd you block me from the chat? Who are you? Yeah. Okay. Good talk. I'm really, trying. This really 50 good talk. is the number. Let's do it. Uh, Skeezy says all zero times you release new merch. I want my damn hat. I'm trying, buddy. I am trying. This company, when I say it runs on a fucking... This company. Shoestring. If I had enough to order all you guys hats, I, it'd fucking be done by now. I just... If that shoestring were any thicker, he would have been hanging him. We can only afford merch for Johnny and me. <laughs> himself, I'm I, a ceiling fan with it by now. Exactly. That shoestring is just kind of... Good. Just right there. No, we had, um, we don't, uh, honestly, we don't make enough money on this program uh, to do a merch, or, like a big free merch thing or anything like that. We, we ask you guys for the bare fucking minimum to just keep this thing going. That's, I, I can't ask for any more than that. Uh, and if we don't hit that, like, you know, it's, that brings us further away from that. Uh, there just hasn't been the time for new merch. That time will come, says April. Look at his face when she says that. So April's in the chat, and she's like, guys, there just hasn't come a time for new merch. It's just not the right time for new merch. Steel Toe's growing through a, a doubling of its listener phase. We're growing at such an alarming rate. To release merch right now would be irresponsible. We're growing so fast over here at Steel Toe, it doesn't make sense to put out new merch right now. We have more fans than Melton, who has a full store of merch that updates every quarter. We can't do it.
Chad Zumok had merch. We can't figure it out. St- uh, uh, MLC has merch. Can't figure it out. Jim Stansel and Ski Mask have merch. Jake Hudson has merch. Seal Toe doesn't make enough money. And now April comes in trying to clean it up with another excuse. It's not, it hasn't been the right time for merch. April says it's not the right time to do merch. There hasn't been a right time yet. And look what look at movie's face when he reads April's excuse. Brings us further away from that. Uh, there just hasn't been the time for new merch. That time will come, says April. <laughs> Is that the look of a face who, uh, that believes there'll be a time for merch? Uh, well, don't tell him that, ape. <laughs> we might be liquidating all the merch very, very soon to buy diapers. <laughs> He, t- he reads April's thing, there'll be merch soon, and he, he makes this face. <laughs> there'll be merch soon. There'll be a time. We'll all have some new merch. It's been the time for new merch. That time will come, says April. <laughs> time. I Lucky time. Time. I. What am I going to pay you with? <laughs> what? <laughs> so here, a little admission that you know, he can barely pay himself, and he's having trouble paying April. Hats. Uh, you still got hats. Well, I, don't, I can't even pay you, he says. So that's crazy. Hello. Hello? Yeah. Well, they can't order new merch because then they have to provide all their VIP members with free merch. Right. Because they made that stupid deal that into perpetuity that you get free shit. Right. So they can't afford it. Yeah, this, this is the Chad Zumach merch. They don't think about anything. The Chad's like, I'll sell you a shirt for 20 bucks. The shirt cost me 12 The shipping cost me 7 Boy, am I an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. All right. Good show, bud. Thank you. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, that's that's a mistake they made. They promised all their VIP members they get the, the, all the new merch for free as it comes out. Forever. It's like, how would that work? Oh, you just never come out with new merch. Yeah, if you never come out with new merch, you know, their newest shirt is like Steel Toe Re-Reborn on Twitch 2021. It's like, okay. Where can I pick that up? Got ent- get entries to drawings and comedy shows. Right. You still get the T-shirts. You still get the hoodies. You still get the drawing entries. You still get the comedy show tickets. You still get all that shit. So there's all of that. Uh- yeah, you still get comedy show tickets when they do events. You know those Steel Toe events? You still get that. You still get that. You still get a Stoney's gift card. Uh, everybody hit like gum. That's so that's real. Um, that's a real cope that they're doing over there at the Steel Toe Show. We don't have enough money for hats. Again, the show that they can't stop putting everybody else down. We have more we have double the audience of all, all the shows you, you think you like. Sorry. Sorry, says Aaron M. Holt. That's just the way it is. We have double the audience. We just have double the audience over here. And it's like, why can't you guys do hats? Guys, we don't have an audience. We don't make any money. Knock it off with the hats. Guys, we need you all to team up. 150 Shut is up. the number. Shut up. That keeps auto-playing. I blame that on Toucan Sambo. You know, make your clips where they don't auto-play. <laughs> what if you thought that's how it worked? The clip auto-plays. Disgrace E got her money after being sewn into the pants of Big Charlie Brown at the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade. I hate bald boys. I love wine. I got it. I got it. Did anybody else catch the Tim Tim Robin Robinson? I made all my money after I got sewn into the pants of the big of the big Charlie Brown. <laughs> Oh, God. Did you know that woman's trans? (laughs) 
It's the Steel Toe Morning Show. I'm Aaron. All right, this is this morning, and I just want to hear the uh, Roadcaster comeback show. Aaron, that's Johnny. Hey, guess what this? Guess what this means? Guess the what all? Roadcaster survived. Guess yeah, that's what it means, my man. It made it. I drenched it. it. I drowned it. I screwed up Friday's show. <laughs> oh, I know. I flipped it upside down and I saved it. I'd like to. They broadcasted with it wet for an hour. Now he's like, you know what I did? I flipped it upside down and saved it. No, 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 no. It shorted out live. Then you decided to flip it upside down and save it. You're an idiot. You're. An, I mean, he's lucky it didn't break. We were we were all hoping it fried forever. Say thank you, by the way. You screwing up Friday's show gave me a very, very large chunk of content for my show on Friday. Oh. I had a whole show prep, but I threw like the first hour and a half out because we just zabrooded you spilling on the freaking roadcaster well, and that's everybody nice. commenting on it. So you imagine watching Johnny Crutch's show. Can we go on a little aside here for a minute? Johnny Crutch's is like, Aaron, I threw out the rundown for my show. We did an hour and a half about your roadcaster. Oh, Aaron, the entire Johnny Crutchman show was in a tailspin Friday. You really threw us one. What is this? Can I can I find this show? How do I find Johnny Crutch's comedy hour? Johnny Crutch's comedy corner. Now, I search for Johnny Crutches. I see a corn diff interview. I see other interviews with Johnny Crutches. I cannot find... There's BYB. You can't find Johnny Crutches' channel. Anybody know what his channel is? Because you can't find it. You cannot find it. Like, I, I really... Oh, Johnny's on Twitch. What the fuck are these idiots doing? Twitch. Johnny Crutch. Ima Cabbages. Imagine watching Twitch. I see him, dude. I see him. I want to help. I want to. No results for Johnny Crutches on Twitch. Anybody else? Anybody else have an idea where Johnny Crutches does a show? He's not on Twitch. Johnny Crutches, no results. Anybody else? Where does Johnny Crutches do a show? Anybody know? Where can we find it? Does anyone know where Johnny Crutches does a show? I'll wait. I want to see 400 people. If 400 people, if anyone can find Johnny Crutches channel. Let's see how long it takes. I've searched Johnny Crutches on YouTube and Johnny Crutches on, on uh, Twitch. So if you listen, Michaela... I don't mean this in any mean way. You don't ever need to help with anything ever again. It's it's not helpful. Michaela's over here. It's like, Twitch. It's like, thanks, 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 thanks. Michaela, I understand it's on Twitch, honey. I, I'm having trouble finding it. So I need a little more than Twitch. It's on Twitch. I'm telling you, Twitch. Again, Michaela, never help again and again it's no hard feelings that we're not being i'm not being mean i'm not telling you to stop listening to the show we're enjoying it I, I by all means stick around i'm telling you you never need to help again with the program i don't want to use the word useless so i won't um does any can anyone help just kidding llc thank you that's helpful information. Just kidding. LLC. Imagine if he really has an LLC. <laughs> Hello. Michaela, we got your IP address of your ports. We're coming for you. We're coming for your ports, Michaela. We're coming for your ports. I'm sitting here going, yeah, I've searched Twitch. It's not on there. Can anybody guide me to where it's at? And she's like, Twitch. Yeah, we've searched Twitch. I'm going to need a little bit more to help guide me to the, I'm telling you, Twitch. It's like, wow, wow. I've never been helped less 
by someone who keeps trying to help. Thank you. Thank you. I eat it pasted. I too eat it pasted. Me too. Me too. I eat it pasted too. Um. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Me too. I too eat it pasted. I know that. She said, "Get me out of this hellscape." That's how I feel every day. That's how I feel every fucking every day of my life. Holy shit! Okay, we're at just kidding LLC. Um, three days ago. Is this it? Wow. So he he is right. He got 184 views Friday. That's way more than he ever gets for anything. Just one second. This is not intended for all audiences. It is rolling. Okay. I um I'm officially interested. Color me curious. Normally I don't do this. Cheer one oh oh four more years. Here comes a train, a busy little train, rushing up and down on the daisy line. Mummies and daddies, the grandpas and the grannies, everyone's aboard on the eight oh nine. Here comes a train, and here comes driver huh. head two. Wow! Here it comes, here it comes, here comes the train today. Here comes the train! Dear Boo One Hype Train, 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 Cheer 100. <sighs> Thank you very much, uh, Hype Train Level 1. Somebody gave him a dollar. That's what caused all that, by the way. I know if you're watching, you're going, what is all this? What was all that noise and the songs and stuff? Someone gave a, a dollar. dollar. Someone gave a dollar. Someone gave a dollar. So that's why all that happened. 87%. <laughs> if you give me a dollar, I'm probably going to yell. I'm probably going to yell. Don't waste my time. It's not worth the direct deposit. A dollar? Somebody gave him a hundred, you know, whatever, chip, chip, twitch bucks, and that's a dollar. And then music started playing and fireworks started going off. He had to do a bong about it. He's like, fuck yeah. The chat went crazy. What are you going to do with the money? I am dying toke train yeah dude at this point it's uh um what up hookers is angry Zags. not a whole lot not a whole lot my lungs are chotched i think this is what Corey adam thought he was gonna do like i'll just bring all the steel toe audience over with me everybody loves me from steel toe steel toe gets a thousand live viewers right that's what aaron can't stop saying so now i'm gonna go over and i'm gonna get I'm going to get listeners off Steel Toe. And I keep forgetting to open my my chat from the Rumble group. <laughs> or from the, not Rumble group, from the YouTube group. Ah. Oh, look at this. Trucker played Da Bubbler for 50 bits. So again, 50 cents. 50 cents. And, and you get to play a... on his stream live so this is where aaron's getting all his ideas now he's going like wait a minute i can play fart noises and inward songs for five dollars hello oh that's just a it's so hard to focus with people imagine i just let you fart on me for 50 cents uh, how annoying would that be if we built that today you would never i would never be able to talk if I set it up where you could play fart noises on my stream for 50 cents. <laughs> Farting in your ear. 
And that one was a wet one. All right, pop out the chat. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go look at this then. Um, Aaron having technical difficulties is never anything new. And I really should not... Um, should not... <laughs> That was 10 cents. 10 cents. He has multiple fart noises you can play on his show for 10 cents. Do you have, brother, can you spare a dime? No, but literally, but literally, 10 cents. El turno, el to, el turno, el turno, el turno, el turno, el turno. El turno, el turno, el turno, el turno. Poncho Pilot giving 99 cents. This is not even a dollar. Along with Sweaty Tryhard, Baby Schmo, Acid Dust, Bone in the Carbarian, Waver. All these guys giving a dollar, not even getting a fart sound. Not even getting a fart sound. Barely a bubble gun. Bubble gun. The bubble gun. The bubble gun. Rocking to the beat. That's better than a fart sound. Ten cents. Ten cents. You're going to stop my show and play flatulence. This guy has a daughter. Now, maybe it's been a long time since I was in school. Maybe, Patrick. Yes, maybe. And, and, you know, I don't have school-aged children, but is this not cause for getting absolutely fucked up after school anymore? Hello? Have things changed that much where we don't find the daughter of this dork after class and beat her until her period stops? <laughs> Patrick, she's eight. Okay, sorry. Beat her until her period starts. I, I, what happened? I mean, you, if, if, if we would have found a kid whose papa does this for a living, by the way, for a living, what does your dad do for a living? Well, he makes 10 cents at a time. Letting 58-year-old men play fart sounds on a live stream that no one watches. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm not kidding. A a Aaron's children need to be beat within an inch of their life. Maybe they're too young. Maybe they're too young, but there's no way by high school that these kids shouldn't be getting ridiculed. You know, I'm not even I'm not even kidding. Just a natural healthy bullying. Aaron M. Holt's gonna have a, a, a 15 year old son who's gonna what? Go to school and defend his dad's show? Shut up. It's a cool show. Hey, do you have lunch money today? What's Aaron's kid's name? Let's call him Lance. Hey, Lance, you got lunch money today, or did your dad not hit the goal yesterday? Faggot. You know what I mean? I mean, it's going to be rough. Aaron M. Holt's children. If How are they not getting just bullied? There's no way. There's no way. Hey, can you come to the movies Friday night, or did your dad not hit the goal this week? Hey, you going on the field trip or did your not, dad not sign the permission slip and give you the money because you couldn't afford it because goal. Every day that your kids come, every day Aaron's kids walk into class, they should be making fun of him for not hitting the goal. Hey, your dad didn't get paid at work again yesterday? Hey, did your dad get paid yesterday? Hey, how's your second mom doing? Hey, welcome to Crutches in the Morning. For 50 cents, you can have a fart noise. For $2, you can shit in my mouth. And for $5, you can drown my kid in urine. I am a fag. 
Look, I just wanted to know. I just wanted to find out what his show was like. It's exactly as bad as I thought. It's exactly as everything I thought. We'll go back to Steel Toe now, where Johnny really shines. Where he can just be himself. You just had a, your your whole show was just my show screwing up my show. No, it was it was nickel and dime fart noises as well. You save up 20 farts, you're going to have a whole jar of nickels. Yeah, pretty much. It was my show laughing at you failing <laughs> to do yours. Was For an hour and a half was just great. <laughs> you. And it's great because Johnny Crutches gets 180 views. Steel Toe gets 300. It's great. You had a show of me fucking my shit up. Yeah, because I didn't know about it. I missed it when it right. happened. I had stuff going on on Friday, and everyone's like, oh, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. And I'm like, what about Aaron? I like that. Like, I, oh. You know what? My favorite thing in the world, I have to say, is when everyone is going, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. <laughs> well, you would have been very, very happy because everyone's was. like, what happened to Aaron? Where are the roadcaster? Is the show dead? What's going on? And I'm like, I don't fuck. What are you talking about? They're like, you got to watch what happened. And they're like, oh, it died at the last two minutes. And so I'm watching different parts. And I'm like, I don't know where it died. And then I found out the part where it happened. And that's the worst because the part where it happened happens right after a part that is not widely publicizable in terms of video content. Yeah, you guys had just done a whole inward rant, and then you spilled stuff on the roadcaster, so it's hard to publicize it because you guys were, you know, Rumble Friday. You, you, you were in between your inward rants. Right, right. So I'm like, I got to clip it just right to replay it over and over again. <laughs> But it's right after that moment that you just whoops a doodle and an entire Yeti right onto the road. Whoops a doodle. Hester and keyboard. It was too. It was like a, it was a full Yeti. That thing was <laughs> that thing was loaded with water. I I had taken maybe a sip or two. Of Imagine describing a cup as loaded with water. Yeah, my cup was loaded of that thing, and then it just <sighs> all over. And then, like it, we limped along for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then it would short out. It would shut off. And then we we shut down the stream. I got the roadcaster started again. And then it would short out again. And I went. I mean, what a fucking idiot! What an idiot! Okay, he spills water into a into an electronic console, and instead of unplugging it immediately and turning it upside down, again in Vegas it's great because you can unplug it, turn it upside down, and in two hours it'll be bone dry just because of Vegas, just just how dry it is here. It's great. But, you know, somewhere in the winter, it's going to dry out quick probably anywhere. But, like, turn it upside down for a couple days and turn it on Sunday when you have to go again. No, no. He, he's like, we turned it off. Uh, I turned it back on. It shorted out again. I kept trying. kept shorting out. It's like, what an idiot. Yeah, I just I, I put a hair dryer in my bathtub. And it shorted out, blew a fuse. So I, you know, I flipped the fuse, tried it again. It shorted it out again. It's like, yeah, let it dry. It's full of water. What an idiot. He's like, it kept shorting out. And I would plug it back in. It would just short out again. It's like, you're again, you're lucky you're not frying a piece of equipment that costs hundreds of dollars here. But okay, you got to get this thing flipped over. You got to get this water out of there or this thing's going to break permanently. And I don't feel like spending 700 bucks on a new roadcaster. So right. I flipped it over. I left it there all weekend. No, you you don't put seven hundred bucks into the show in a, in a year. The idea of buying a new banner or a new roadcaster is beyond movie. I'm really sorry about the members' show. I apologize. Uh, I just really uh, a couple of things happened. And Listen to this. So last night there was no members' show. He didn't even announce there was no members' show that he does on Sunday nights. Somebody had to tweet him, and that never happens. So, you know, it was, it was concerning. One of his fans had to tweet him, just one, hey, is there a members-only show tonight? And he's like, no, there were, we had some scheduling issues, okay? This was his official ex excuse last night on Twitter. It's up. Anybody can go look. He said, oh, no members show tonight. Sorry, we had scheduling issues, okay? That's, that's what he said. And I really wanted to give this thing a break. Now it's like, no, I had to, we couldn't do it because the roadcaster. I, I, my plan was I want to fire it up Monday so that they like, call it superstition, whatever. But I wanted, if I, if I was going to start it and it was going to be fried, I wanted it to be for a morning show. You know, 
I, I didn't want to flip it over, start it for a one-hour member show, and then it dies. If it was going to die, I wanted it to die here. Are you okay? That doesn't make any sense. Johnny's dying. Yeah, no, I just, um, <clears throat> I'm in a lot of pain, so I just use a little. Oh. A little bit of my medication stuff for that reason. I'm sorry. You're a trooper yeah. today. <laughs> well, I just, it's been a rough weekend. I've had some issues, so it's all good. You, but, uh, yeah, anything, no, anything it, you want to talk about? or I've got a tiny Coca-Cola before I move on to a Mountain Dew and polish her down with a Starbucks raspberry frappe. Nah, it's, well, I'm mostly stressed out and nervous. I can't even imagine having those tiny cans of Coke in my house. What's gayer, no soda or tiny cans of Coke? Tiny cans of Coke, tiny cans of Coke. But more than anything about that stupid tuberculosis diagnosis. Oh, you talked about the tested. tuberculosis thing. I haven't done it yet. Uh, well, I've talked about it, but I haven't uh, I haven't done the test yet. But no, it, it's supposed to be a false positive, but I keep looking into like the treatments for it, and it's just... So now they're talking about tuberculosis, so of course this is going to spark memories of the movie Tombstone and uh, Doc... Uh, you know, uh, Doc... Uh, fuck, what's his name? You know, um, Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday... You know? So, of course, movie's going to launch into Tombstone movie quotes here, and not just one or two that revolve around the character of Doc Hollywood. <laughs> what is it? Holiday. Why do I keep saying Doc Hollywood? Doc Holiday having uh, tuberculosis in the movie Tombstone. Nope, he's going to... Start doing quotes from Tombstone that have nothing to do with tuberculosis. Just to show you he can remember movie quotes. It's bad with MS, so I'm just like, yeah. oh, God. It's yeah, tuberculosis is particularly bad with MS. Just another thing. So I'm just nervous, and then that leads to me, you know, not sleeping much and tripping and falling and stuff. So you're, just, worried, you know, you're worried that you're a lunger. So here he goes. If you, again, Tombstone, one of the best westerns by far ever made but here we go you can already tell now he's calling him a lunger it's going to get into consumption i'm right as rain you know all the quotes i'm worried i'm gonna die of consumption <laughs> <laughs> you're in aaron's wheel wheelhouse now look how happy he is he's like fuck yes we are getting on the movie quote on ramp this is going to be great yeah, sorry. Doc Hollywood is a movie with uh, um, what's a Spin City guy? <laughs> the Shakes. Michael J. Fox was Doc Hollywood. He was a veterinarian. <laughs> That'd be fucked up. Of all the things you've had to deal with. Oh, yeah. John had died of the consumption. <laughs> Here he goes. Here he goes. <laughs> That'd be a horrible way to go. I don't know. It might not be that bad. Then I get to reenact the death scene from uh, Tombstone. Right. I okay. They've been doing Tombstone quotes. Lunger, consumption. Johnny died of the... Con they've been doing Tombstone quotes, and now Johnny is catching on. He goes, oh, like Tombstone. Yeah, that's what we've been doing for three lines now. That's what we've been doing, Johnny. I can be Wyatt Earp. I can come to your yeah, bedside. Yeah, you can come in. I can be. You could take that tall, spirited blonde lady and make her your own. Again, this has nothing to do with anything about tuberculosis or consumption. Now they're just going off on tombstone quotes. They have nothing to do with anything. Did you know that? That right, so she's not tall. Did you know that that never happened? That those two had a big time falling out, and that I did not know that. Yeah, they had a big time falling out because remember the girl that Wyatt ended up with at the end of Tombstone. Yeah, the, the, the Jewish performer lady. Yeah. Doc Holliday was not a big fan. Of, of her? Of, or? of him being with her. He, he thinks movies are real. He thinks movies are real. No, they actually, in part two, they had a big fight because of the Jew lady that... Of course, we got to turn this into a Nazi propaganda film. He called him... Uh, the thing that finally broke the two apart and caused them to go their separate ways 
And then unfortunately never happened. No, because there was a secret ending where actually they didn't get along. Of that death scene that we see at the end of Tombstone is that Doc Holliday called Wyatt Earp, and I quote, a goddamn Jew lover. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and... Uh, that one was missing from Val Kilmer's interpretation. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Anyway, I've watched, um, you know, that guy that does um, that does the movie fact-checking, uh, History Buffs. Right. I watched his his thing on Tombstone, and I was like, well, that kind of... That kind of takes away a little something from the end of the movie, you know, finding a... But although I would have loved to see that scene, too. Yeah, I know. You're a goddamn Jew lover, Wyatt. <laughs> can you... Uh, can, is anyone more proud of their horrible jokes than Mooby? Is there anyone who laughs at himself more than the Moobs? Watch. Ooh. Yeah, I know. You're a goddamn Jew lover, Wyatt. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you going Wyatt with that my cement? Friend. I don't have any friends. Well, I do, and he's a goddamn Jew lover. <laughs> <laughs> the punchline is Jew lover. So, so again, Johnny Crutches, uncreative as ever, repeats what Mooby just said. Jew, uh, Mooby goes... Why you're a goddamn Jew lover? <laughs> and then Johnny Crutches go, yeah, you you a Jew lover? And then Aaron goes, ha 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 ha. So he just said the same thing. He just said the same thing. He was my best friend until he got with that Semitic whore. <laughs> <laughs> poor, poor, poor Wyatt, or, uh, poor uh, Doc felt like he was betrayed. And his buddy went with a J. I know you feel like you are in love, Wyatt, but I have to remind you, she may be the Antichrist. <laughs> so, Again, quotes from the movie that have nothing to do with anything, and they're just shoehorning it into anti-Semitism. She may be. <laughs> she may be your saving angel, Wyatt, or she may be a dirty Christ killer. <laughs> Again, are these that funny? <laughs> Three have bombed. Let's keep going. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you're dating a woman who wears a yarmulke. Does this mean we're not friends anymore? <laughs> now, look. I've never really embedded myself with the Jews, but... Do women wear yarmulkes? I'm actually asking. I've never seen it. Yarmulke is like a man thing, right? Do women wear my yarmulke? Is that even like do women wear a yarmulke? I, I, I'm asking. I'm, a, I'm, re, I'm asking. I, I don't. I don't know. I thought it was just a man thing. 500. Must be a peach of a hen. Well, 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 ain't that a daisy? Why, I am rolling. In vino veritas, you dumpy bitch. That is a hell of a thing to say to me. I have not yet begun to defile myself. I have not yet begun to defile myself. I, I think it's great when we get all the characters to do uh, quotes. No, women don't wear yarmulkes. They wear wigs. Yeah, so again, he hates the Jews, but he he doesn't even have a tangential understanding of Jewish culture. Because if you weren't well, my friend, I don't think I could bear it. Well, he, he's not even getting the quotes right. This is embarrassing. Wyatt up. Where are you going with that Jew woman? <laughs> you oh. got you to gotta see him laugh. You got to see him laugh. Going with that Jew woman. <laughs> Is that that funny? Wyatt up. Where are you going with that Jew woman? <laughs> Wyatt up. Where are you going with that Jew woman? <laughs> Wyatt up. Where are you going with that Jew woman? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. It's so fake. 
It's so fake. I can't. I can't. Dirty Jew lover, I forgot you were there. You can go you now. May go. You may go now. They don't even get the quotes right. God, he sucks. <laughs> you can go now. <laughs> no, it's funny because we put Jew in it. I'm sorry, dirty Jew lover. I forgot you were there. You can go you now. Go now. <laughs> this guy thinks terrestrial radio is going to bring him back. Again, put together an hour of FM safe material. We'd love to hear what you're going to do on the radio, Aaron. I I'm really serious. We want to hear what you're going to bring back to the terrestrial airwaves. I got to know. I got to know. I'm in love it's with it. It's a better movie. Yeah, it is a better movie with the two of them. Their big conflict being Wyatt had to hook up with a Jew. Oh, <laughs> uh, Doc oh. Holliday goes, well... <laughs> Hey, uh, why, uh, Doc, I'm... Uh, I <laughs> he can't even get into it smoothly. He, uh, no, and then, oh, and then Doc Holiday. No, and then and when he... Oh, because they... Uh, imagine he... Oh, no, so he goes... <laughs> oh, Doc oh. Holiday goes, well... <laughs> hey, uh, why, uh, Doc, I'm... Uh, I fall in... Oh, Doc oh. Holiday goes, well... <laughs> hey, uh, why, uh, Doc, I'm... Uh, <laughs> oh, Doc oh. Holiday goes, well... <laughs> Hey, uh, why, uh, Doc, I'm, uh, I fallen in love. Oh, Doc oh. Holliday goes, well, <laughs> hey, uh, why, uh, Doc, I'm, uh, I fallen in love. No, no, we got it. We got it. With, uh, that Jewish actor lady. Well, that is a hell of a thing for you to say to me. <laughs> hey, Doc, I have fallen in love with that Jewish lady. That is a hell of a thing for you to say to me. Again, okay, this is just making me angry at Tombstone, which is a great movie. He he just it it any movie quote he's just shoving Jew into it and then going ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho Frankly, my Jewish dear, I don't give a damn. <laughs> I know, it makes it a better movie. It makes it a better movie. I'll have what the Jews having. <laughs> Sleepless in Seattle. Imagine if it was Jews can't sleep in Seattle. <laughs> I mean, it's painful. It really is bad. She, and then he forgives Wyatt at the end of the movie as he's sitting against a tree. He goes... I guess she's not as Jewish as she let on. <laughs> <laughs> My hypocrisy goes on this. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, oh, fucking, fuck. yeah. Doc getting over the fact that Wyatt's dating a Jew. If they would have went with reality, that would have been a better movie. You're coughing more than I am. And I, I am. have the consumption. You got, the, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm coughing more than Johnny. Now they're laughing at the same joke they made to start it all off. Oh, consumption. That's right. That's right. Oh, wait. We already laughed about this. And he's got the consumption. He's a lunger. Again, this is how it all started. Now they're repeating jokes, re-laughing at them. Like, oh, yeah, consumption, lunger. What if we do that? <laughs> how do you end up like, you, I, I mean, obviously you don't have tuberculosis for Christ's sake, but um, probably not. It's most likely a false positive. We'll but how do you pop false positive for TB? I don't know. They did a whole battery of blood tests because I'm supposed to start a new medication. And then they just called me out of the blue on Thursday. Like, hey, so uh, it kind of came back indeterminate. Uh, so we have to rule that. No, 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 no. Hold on. They took a blood test. And then they called me out of the blue saying, all right, the results are back. It came back in. It, it's not out of the blue. They called you with your results. Yeah, I went in. I had a blood test. And then uh, two days later, they called me out of the blue with the results. It's not out of the blue. You took a test. They're going to call you with the results. It's not out of the blue. Well, these nuts was messed up, man. I don't understand why they couldn't keep these nuts. Oh. Jesus. Two people said they were arguing with Kroll over the phone. 
Oh, hold on. How do we skip up to live? Wow, we just skipped to live. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's a sign. We're not supposed to watch any more of this program. Patrick, those fart sounds and air horn noises that old spineless noodle legs uses are sounds I recorded with April. Yeah, Patrick Mooby recorded those while I was slumped over a hay bale while the local government assisted Newport slammed their thick piss rails deep into my gaping mud puddle Ugh. while blasting cunt wind out my discolored meat curtains. Okay. I mean, that's fucking gross. That is fucking disgusting. Um, all right. Citizen M sent me this. This is a members only show. Thank you again, Citizen M, for pulling this. I don't have access to their. Me- I'm not a member. Uh, this is the members only show they did last weekend, which is apparently gold. It's apparently gold. Remember, they were getting over being sick. We also are going to have to watch the Ricada show that they did. What Wednesday night? There's so much steel toe to catch up on. I, 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 I'm sorry we, you know, we missed a day last week. We may go uh, Tuesday some days this week to make it up to you. I, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I wish I could be a better man, but I can't. I just can't. Hit the like button. Can we get to 200 likes? Fearless is going to get here and be so mad. You know, it's like she's the manager and we, we are the like assistant manager. We come in, we open up, we get everything ready to go. She shows up once business is happening. But you know, if we, if she, if we don't have 200 likes, when she gets here, she gets angry. She starts yelling. She throws everlasting gobstoppers everywhere. You know what it is? When you called Movie Noodle, it reminded me of that new Willy Wonka movie because there's a little black girl. I think it's Will Smith's kid named Noodle. I watched that whole new Willy Wonka, that whole Tim Tim Chalamet Willy Wonka yesterday. Me, a 44-year-old man. It wasn't it wasn't all, it wasn't the worst. I kept the whole thing on. I watched the whole thing. Huh. It wasn't an N, it was a Z. <laughs> oh, the whole time. The whole fucking time. Anyway, uh, here's a bink. Here's a thing. Here's a steel toe show. Did you cover the Willy Wonka scam? Oh, come on. Come on. I'm not ashamed of watching the Willy Wonka one. I'm not ashamed. Look, I, 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 it's pretty gay, I guess. It's pretty gay. I liked it. It wasn't a remake. You know, that, I'll tell you, I'll be honest. I put everything on like that, expecting to turn it off after 10 minutes. And I didn't. And I didn't. Um, I was just, I was. I was like, oh, it's a new story. It's a, it's like a kind of a prequel, I guess. Look, it wasn't Will Smith's kid. That was a joke. I'm just saying all, all wire, wiry haired uh, black kids look, look the same. Melton likes gender race swapped woke trash. What? Oh yeah. Cause noodle was a white girl was a white boy in the in the original oh wait there was no noodle no i'm just, i'm just saying like look man um it wasn't the it wasn't the worst it could have been way worse call me old-fashioned but a black slugworth come on man yeah that's true slugworth was black um oh so that's what you mean race swap yeah, how is Slugworth black? But I was never sure in the in the original one was that Slugworth the one whispering in in Charlie's ears in the five the five kids that won the golden ticket the the little uh wormy guy with glasses I always assumed that was like Slugworth's henchman why would Slugworth be out on them streets whispering to children? You bring me the everlasting gobstopper. Bring me the everlasting gobstopper. Barbie was a good flip. Barbie was garbage. 
Barbie was barbage. No, that guy worked for Wonka. Shut, I, I understand the story. Oh, my God, Crumbum's a fucking idiot. Crumbum's a fucking idiot. No shit. We all know how it ends. We all know he wasn't really Slugworth. He was pretending to be Slugworth, which which I thought was stupid. She should be. You should pretend to be Slugworth's secretary. Why did you see Barbie? Why not? It doesn't cost anything. You just hit play on stuff. I see everything, so I can comment on everything. Barbie was shit. Barbie was shit. My favorite scene in Barbie is the one where she's sitting on the floor in the nursery and Leonardo DiCaprio is laying down and she slowly spreads her legs and he's like, oh, mommy. And this guy in the security guard's watching through the nanny cam. Oh, wait, that's Wolf of Wall Street. That's Wolf of Wall Street. That's my favorite Barbie scene. Wouldn't it be funny if in that scene when she spreads her legs on the floor in Wolf of Wall Street, she had just a smooth area like Barbie? That would be funny. That'd be good cross-promotion. Like, the unawareness of thinking this is a great intro to your show. <laughs> no, this fits in with what we do here at Steel Toe. Boom, 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 boom. The Steel Toe Morning Show. And then they bring the corny voice on to let you know it's not going to be this. You're listening to this, you're like, dun 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 it's going to be corny. Remember, April calls this the new logo. We should do it with the new logo. The boots. It's like April. They're, it's clip art. It's literally clip art. And she calls it the new logo. <laughs> By the way, can I tell you what? You know, we had we had a theory, everybody. We we had a theory that, and this was a you know I just started this theory because they never updated their website. Steeltoeentertainment.com. Steeltoeentertainment.com. We made fun of it because they had a big event last year, 2023, their ninth anniversary show. You couldn't buy tickets on their live event page. They only had an event from 2021 on there you could buy tickets from. We made fun of it because when you go to, like, watch live, it goes to their Twitch page. And they've been off Twitch for years. So I made the joke they've lost the login to their website. And as time went on, it became more and more like that was the case. Because they never updated anything on their website. Ladies and gentlemen, if you go today to steeltoeentertainment.com. This is real. They've lost the website. They've lost the website. That's my IP address. Don't dox me. <laughs> Important security message. Whoa! Your computer has been Whoa! locked up. Your IP address was used Whoa! without your knowledge or consent to visit websites that contains identity Whoa! theft virus. That's their to unlock website. The computer, please call support immediately. That's their website please now. Please do not attempt to shut down or restart your computer. Doing that may lead to data loss and identity theft. Fuck! The computer lock is aimed to stop illegal activity. Please call our support immediately. Ah! Important security message. Yeah. Your computer has this been locked bad. up. Your IP address was used without your knowledge or consent up, to visit everybody. websites that contains identity theft virus. To unlock the it? computer, please call I support can't even immediately. Close it. 
Please do not attempt to shut down or restart your... <laughs> That's SteelToeEntertainment.com now. I had to close the whole window. We lost everything. We lost everything. <laughs> so that's their, I'm not even kidding. That's really their website now. Steel Toe. I, I got to make sure. I got to go to it again. Steel Toe Entertainment Show. Hello. Hello, my name is Jeffrey from Microsoft. We hear that you have a problem with your window activation. Wow, that Microsoft. was fast. Yeah, I'm having a big problem over here. <laughs> Could you uh, go open your Windows? Yeah, when, yeah. yeah, Windows is open. Windows? Oh, no. I've lost my Microsoft tech. SteelToeEntertainment.com. It's just virus city now. I love it. Oh, no. I did it again? Important security message. <laughs> your computer has been locked up. <laughs> your IP address was used without your knowledge or consent to visit websites that contains identity it's theft so virus. It's so good. It's so good. To unlock the computer, please call support immediately. I'm, I'm Please locked. do not attempt to shut down or restart your computer. Oh, whoa. Doing that may lead to data loss and identity theft. The computer lock is aimed to stop illegal activity. Should we Please call? call our support immediately. Should we call? Important security message. Your computer has been locked oh, up. Oh, no. Your IP address was used without your knowledge or consent to visit websites that contains identity theft virus. I can't get rid of it. To unlock the computer, please call support immediately. This is steel toe please now. Please do not attempt to shut down or restart your computer. Doing that may lead to data loss and identity theft. Oh, no. The computer lock is aimed to stop illegal activity. Please call our support immediately. How do I close this window? Important security message. <laughs> your computer has been locked ah! up. Your IP address was used without your knowledge or consent to visit websites no! that contains identity theft virus. To unlock the computer, please call support immediately. I can't please get rid of it. Please do not attempt to shut down or oh, restart no! your computer. Doing that may lead to data loss and identity no! theft. How do I get rid of it? The computer lock is aimed to stop illegal activity. Still tell you please win call again. Our support immediately. Ah! Important security message. I your can't computer close has it. been locked up. Your IP address was used without your knowledge or consent to visit websites that contains I can't even identity see the theft window. virus. It's missing. To unlock the computer, please call support immediately. Ah! Please do not attempt to shut down or restart your computer. Doing that may lead to I'm data so loss fun. and identity theft. Hello. The computer lock is aimed to stop uh, 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 illegal activity. Didn't say the magic word. Please call our support uh, 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 immediately. Come on, Nedry. Come Important on. Security message. Your computer has been locked up. Oh God. Your IP address was used without your knowledge or consent to visit websites that contains identity theft oh, I virus. I got it. Okay. To unlock the computer, please. Okay, I got it. Holy shit! So again. That is SteelToeEntertainment.com. That's their website. That is their website. I got to restore all tabs. That's going to be a nightmare. It's going to play everything. Oh, no. It did it again. From the spur. Oh, no. Every tab now. Oh. <laughs> Oh, shit. All right, I think we got it. I think we're good. Wow. So, yeah, I, I not only have they not updated their website in three years. Now they've let it go. Steel Toe. No longer has a website. You tell me if this is a show that's planning on a future. Let me tell you something. If you find out that I stopped re re-registering nobodylikesonions.com, it's over. It's over. So again, they're telling you we can't afford to make hats. Um, <laughs> trick or treat says it looks like they updated it to me. Yeah. I mean, I guess that is an update. I guess that is an update.
but Bonin's dead on. They didn't renew their domain name. They don't care anymore. They're at the point now, I, I, you know, I, I, I'm adding infrastructure to the show. We have cellular backup now. Hopefully there shouldn't be any, you know, uh, bite my tongue because there'll be new problems with the cellular shit. But the reception seems good in my IT area closet back there. It's 5G. It should be good. It, we should be good. It should instantly fail over. You know, I'm sure it'll drop some frames. I'm sure the quality will go down if we switch over, but it should just be instant. We shouldn't have any more. The internet's out. Melton can't do a show. It really, that should be over. So on the one hand, you have a, a show investing in computers, infrastructure, ideas. On the other hand, you have a show where they're like, not only. <laughs> they, don't forget that's their store too. So like. You, you, you can't sell merch. You can't sell tickets to events. There's no info about your show there. It, you've let it go. You've let it go. For, again, when I started calling out that you don't have access to your website, change something if you do, and they never did it, it was kind of like, oh, they might really not have access to their website. And this proves it. Maybe some fan was doing it. Remember when they launched their coffee you had to go to a whole new website, crescentmount.steeltoe.coffee slash Crescent Mountain. Yeah, I, re I really believe some fan set that up or something for them. They didn't have access to it, and now it's just gone. Domain names are $9 a year. You can't just register domain names for fun. Oh, wait, yeah, you can. AaronMholt.com, I own. MholtDivorce.com, I own. I've built more websites for Steel Toe Morning Show than they've ever built. I promote their events and upcoming, uh, you know, infotainment seminars better than they do. That's what's that's what's a little dis disconcerting to me. Berging, he's instructing his. Oh no! Come on. Remember, we know what he listens to. It's not this. He listens to male country artists. Not even good ones. Soft ones. You know, I dare you to judge me if I'm tapping my toes to Standing Outside the Fire by Garth Brooks. That is a banger. That is a country pop banger from the 90s. You know? I, I I I I swear to God, you know, there's some country bangers. He's got Eric Church on singing about I lost my love and I lost my truck. My fucking wife never wants to fuck, so we're heading over to the Ricadas again. You know, I mean, it's just it's all like real soft stuff. Well, my microphone stand is broken and I can't afford a new banner. My wife's in the hot tub. The sun's out. She's getting tanner. It's all, you know. I got me an Xbox Game Pass, and my wife's got a big old flat ass, and we're in the hot tub because Chandler paid us again. Nigga, no, no. Yeah, it doesn't, ma the intro doesn't match in so many ways. A, there's not a crowd of people waiting, and B, you know, it's about to get solved. <laughs> Now, again, this is Sunday night, March 3rd. This is their March 3rd members-only show, April 6th. Good evening, everybody. How are you? Welcome. I just oh. let my hair do this today. I didn't... Oh. 
This is what this is what a members only show is. Is he mine? You become a member. This is what you get. Yep. <laughs> Look at how pretty that is. It's Spider Night, everybody. Welcome. Whoa. I'm having a, a hell of a night. I think. I- See yourself. They don't have mirrors. Okay, she cannot fix herself up until they're live, everybody. I'm not. I'm sorry. I just no, wanted- no. You very oh, much. You very much just announced <laughs> that you're not okay. Uh, my nose is on like a. Yeah. What is she? It's so much adjustment of the hair and headphones. What's the issue? Just. Can I see the word on here? Probably not. Go ahead. On a self-deleting mission. Like. I think you could say suicide I don't know. mission. Can I? Yeah, yeah, my nose is on a, like a. Don't call their roadcaster a tricaster. I I see that, and that's insulting to professionals everywhere. I mean, they don't know what a tricaster is, so stop. Stop that. It's a roadcaster. This is a piece of consumer equipment that's a plug-and-play answer to podcasting for people who don't want to bother or learn. Don't call it a TriCaster. It doesn't even do video. Suicide mission. Yeah, like it's trying to it's like mission. anger me so much that I literally saw it off with anything. I, I'll i saw it off with a goddamn bone. I, I have, don't care. I have a weird... Uh, well, you'd use a bone saw. You wouldn't no. use a bone. No, She's going to saw off her nose with a bone. And then Moody's like, no, use a bone saw. It's like, there's no bones in a nose. Why would you? I don't think any of them know anything about anything. Like, everything they speak on and expound about, it, it just proves their knowledge is nil. No, to cut your nose off, you'd want to use a bone saw. It's like you need to use a fucking car key. It's just cartilage. You can, you can mangle cartilage out with your bare hands. Saying, like, how I, would you saw it? Please explain to one me. One of these, uh, like, I was shed, shed antler hunting yesterday. The sure. one- please, please get this woman another microphone. She deserves to be on air. She talks. Sure. Woods, right? And I found these jaw bones with the teeth on it from the deer. Mm-hmm. Jagged, right? Mm-hmm. Jagged. I would saw my goddamn nose off with one of those right now if I had to. You understand that would... No, I'm saying one time I found a moose jaw in the woods and I could saw my nose off with that right now. I'm sorry, what? I can't let that go. April, could you explain what you meant about the the bone... Moose thing again? Go ahead. On a self-deleting mission. Like. I think you could say suicide I don't know. mission. Can I? Yeah, yeah, my nose is on a, like a suicide mission. Yeah. Like it's trying to like. Oh, she thinks she can't say suicide. The GM of operations thinks you're not allowed to say suicide on YouTube. Mission. Anger me so much that I literally saw it off with anything. I. I'll saw it off with a goddamn bone. I, like what made her think of that? I'll saw it off with a bone. Care. I have a weird. Uh, well, you'd use a bone saw. You wouldn't no. use a bone. No, I'm saying like. How I, would you saw? Please explain to me. All right, listen to this. No, one time I saw a bone with teeth. That's what I'm thinking of. These uh, like, I was shed shed antler hunting yesterday in the sure. woods, right? And I found these jaw bones with the teeth on it from the deer, mm-hmm. jagged, right? Mm-hmm. I would saw my goddamn nose off with one of those right now if I had to. Oh. You understand that would just leave a hole in your face yes. that was leaking snot. Voldemort Imhold. Yeah, but uh, you know, c- cutting off your nose wouldn't fix the problem. You would now I, just I be leaking this. messy snot into your mouth. I'm a... What? <laughs> What's no, I'm happened? sitting here. I just... You're having an ex- Guys, she's got to fix her hair again. The first three times didn't take. She got to fix her hair live movie, on movie, air. Movie, movie, goo I have another puzzle for you. Math, head, meth, head. Her name is Scrimpy. If you are wise, you will listen to Melty. So this is the third time she's been fixing her hair and headphones on air. Existential crisis right now. What's happening? Well, Walk us through it. I don't know what the nose thing is. Every other symptom that yeah. I had with the flu this time is gone. 
I'm fine. I felt great like two days ago and mostly yesterday. And then today, again, it's like I shoved my face in like a palm full of pollen. Imagine the cognitive dissonance he has to live with on a daily basis. He lost his terrestrial radio job to a woman and went on a rant about how women should never be on the radio. They're all talentless holes. They suck. They should never be on radio. He goes off the air. He immediately starts a new show, tells his dumb new wife that she should do it with him. They're going to ride or die this new life together. And now he's stuck next to this dumb bitch that it used to be okay because he was fucking a hot girl in his mind, you know, like, ah. But now he knows she's so dumb. And at a certain point, every woman who's retarded and stupid will outlive the usefulness of their rot pockets. Rot pockets. And he's just sitting here thinking, like, is it even worth rubbing my dick inside this thing anymore to make cum? And this is what his show's become. And now he has to sit here and live with the knowledge that he did this to his own show and he cannot even admit it. He has to keep her happy. No, you're doing great. This is a good show. You know, every day, every day I imagine he has a little pep talk with her because of all the internet hate. He's got to be constantly telling her, no, we're doing great. The show's doing great. The numbers are real. The numbers are up. People love you. They like to troll. And he's got to sit there just knowing he did this. He did this to his show. And this is what it is now. Oof. Or something. It's just like the week that we started getting sick, right? Right. Where my nose like filled up on air and like my eyes are watering. Well, then again, no we, did, we did go hiking quite a bit yesterday. What if this part is allergies? It could be. Do you know how severe that is and how terrifying that is? As the great poet laureate Lester Green, a.k.a. Beetlejuice, once said, Kubi, Kubi. Yeah, but that's terrifying because that means this isn't going away for a maybe, while. Maybe you should bite the bullet and take the allergy meds, see if it works. <sighs> I, I hate to do this in front of uh, the fellas, but... It is what's coming out of there colorful or not? Oh, well, then it's probably not allergies. It's it's just, right. I don't think it's allergies. I think it's part of the disease. Fuck this fucking shit. I'm so mad. <laughs> See, like, and now I... A minute ago, she wasn't sure she could say suicide. Now she's like, fuck this fucking shit. And again, they think they're going to go back to terrestrial. They think they're going to go back and have a terrestrial time. I have survivor's guilt. They're having a terrestrial time. Survivor's no, remorse? I'm thrilled that you feel good. But I. But here's the deal. I Happy. feel good, but I feel weird that I feel good. I just explained this to you just before we went on the air. I go, I don't feel right because I feel right. No, you should enjoy if it. That, if that makes any sense. Uh, I'm actually doing better right this second than I was. Like, you saw me on the drive from the store to the home, right? Yeah. What a weird thing to say to your spouse who was in the car. You saw me on the drive from the store to the home, right? The home? <laughs> yeah. Not good. I don't know what the fuck that was. Not good. Not good. I can tell you this. I've spent at least two hours today trying to get the concrete goo. It's like solid. It doesn't move. Like out of my nose and it tickles and it hurts and it's bad. I've never had anything explained to me in such detail. I'm trying to get the concrete goo out of my nose. It tickles and it hurts and it's bad. It tickles and it hurts and it's bad. That's what she said. <laughs> At least two hours today has been spent trying to unclog this. I, again, am feeling terrible for feeling so good. Ready? Yeah. You want to hear it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just came. That's an improvement. How's that, everybody? Now I've got a load full of jizz in my pants. How am I supposed to go about the rest of my day? They're not, like, these aren't real people. No one talks and acts like this. 
I mean, this is weird. No, no grown man has ever in the history of ever said, oh, great. Now I have a load of jizz in my pants. What am I supposed to do with that? Oh, no. Now I have a load of jizz in my pants. Again, these are pro broadcasters. All they ever do is tell you that they're pros. They're built differently. They're better than everybody except maybe Kumia. And it's all just cum and woman yarmulkes. <laughs> Guys. Oh, God. We Could were you... supposed to spend this weekend getting over this. And you I, did. I did. You did. And I took I care of not. everyone else. Yep. I'm a goddamn nanny dog yes, over I'll here. Yes, I'll stop sniffling into the mic. And then we get back home today, and I, I find out that the kids did something to fuck up the bathroom that they use. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't know what, but that's I, atrocious. I went into the bathroom. It reeks. It, it, it's like they did something and then hit it somewhere. You can't now, this is the gas leak Aaron was talking about last week on a show he watched. So again, he has he has uh, his P trap or something, and his bathroom's not working. Or again, the the wind. You know, if if you have a shitty old house or something, the wind can cause gas to leak into your house. I think that's what's happening. Hello. Hey, uh, you're watching a bad show and having a bad show all at the same time. Wow, mean. You don't want to elaborate. You know, these people never want to give me constructive criticism. We tell Aaron and April what to fix all the time. They ignore it. That's why it's funny. These people call into me. They go, you're having a bad show, Melton. And I'm like, come on, am I? Is this bad? Hit the like button. DK gave 10 gifted memberships. Is that bad? Is that a bad show? Is that a bad show? Would DK be gifting 10 memberships if it was a bad show? I think not. I think not. So, you know, proof positive. How much more of the gold does Steel Toe have to hit this morning? You tell me who's having a bad. You're having a rocky time. can't see anything. It smells like shit. And, like, nobody's used it. No. It smells like uh, shit in the, the bathroom that the kids use. It's why would you? Why would you bring this to the show? Again, thank you, DK. I'd love to lick you uh, silly if you're available. There's nothing leaking. There's, There's nothing on the floor. Nothing There's visible. Nothing. And if there were anything wrong with the actual hole that the toilet was on, there would be something <sighs> coming up. So The actual hole that the toilet is on. If something were wrong <laughs> with the actual hole the toilet is on, it would be coming up. The kids have done something and they've hidden it somewhere? It's like, it's like somebody took a shit down like the shower drain or something and you can't see it. You know what I mean? Did here's that what happen? I'm, here's what I'm worried about. No, here's what I'm worried about. I'm worried that one of them overflowed the toilet, oh, used like oh. a towel or something to wipe some of it up, oh my and God. then hid the towel somewhere. Don't say that. I'm, I, I worry about these. Please. I don't know what it is, but I go into that bathroom. I can't fix it. I, I can't see anything. Everything is pristine, and it, smell, it reeks of shit in there. Well, we're, I'm So the kitchen is shrimp and eggs and sticky garbage. Every surface in their house is like wood paneling, you know, old-fashioned gross. And now they've got a septic sewage shit smell leaking out of their bathroom into their home. Tell me again how these guys are winning. I'd love to know. Tell me again how they're killing it over there at Steel Toe. We can't afford hat. We don't have a website anymore, but we have double the viewers of everybody who hates us. Okay. Okay. Can we, can we please do a wellness check? 
Patrick, what? A wellness check. Just a simple, what I call a wellness check. Okay, here's how it works. We go to Steel Toe. We go to the Steel Toe Show Live. Back today? Yeah. You're not above it? All right. We got our ass kicked today. All right. I'll bring out the offering plate. Oh, no. I'll this is it. live. Uh, pretty please, everybody. Let's knock that. Oh, because they're supposed to end in eight minutes. We caught it. Wow. Today, just asking to get it out of the twos for the love of Christ. We've got eight minutes left. They've made $60 in four hours. They made $60 in four hours. DK gave almost that in memberships a second ago. A couple of bucks in. <laughs> Throw it into this plate right here. Oh, and let's really try really doing this today. Let's try. We've made 70 bucks so far on today's program. Uh, Streamlabs, PayPal, and Venmo are the best ways to do it. They take the lowest percentage. Uh, super tips. Super chats, memberships, <laughs> if that's what you can do. That's great, too. <laughs> Let's knock out that 250, guys. <laughs> Anybody want to become a VIP today? Oh, no. 250 bucks for the VIP. Oh, no. It's if back you out. Do that. He's just holding the plate for no reason. Just... Uh, uh. Now there's no music or anything. He's just holding the plate away. There we go. Uh, Chilino with 20 bucks taking pity on us says, this is sad. Hi, cripple. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, Wait a minute. Which one of us is the cripple now? I, th I think we're both crippled today. <laughs> Guys, they need 230 more bucks in eight minutes to do 30 more minutes. Nice. The guy did a good job when he made it. Oh, he did such an awesome job. I have the plug over here somewhere um, for the woodworking <laughs> business that did it. It's really, really good. It's a nice offering plate. If you were going to get one for your mom, you'd want to use this company. Pretty away from today. Let's see if we can get a little bit better. <laughs> start to today's week again streamlabs paypal super chats memberships etc look at the, uh, the plate is looking like a 90s ashtray uh, ashtray or, or an ashtray uh five i always feel that way when i see it i'm like it looks like those are the the thing is those lines aren't actually like cut out if it was grooves then i'd be like all right that definitely looks like an ashtray uh time guard says you look like you're having a rocky time oh. oh back to the gino and i cigar joke devil pup with 499 addicted to ubiquity with five bucks devil pup says worth a shot thank you uh, aaron's man's ear gifting a membership okay to dime car he's not re hey idiots who are fans of mine who give more to his show than this show to do jokes they don't do it anymore chad doesn't read your jokes he won't read your jokes anymore. So this Sosa said so. He knows the bit. And he's just like, yeah, I'm not going to read it. Thanks, Addicted to Ubiquity, for the money. It's just like, I, I don't understand it. $2 means nothing towards the goal. $5 means $5 towards the goal. But if he doesn't like your comment, he will not read your comment. I, 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 I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. He won't read it. He won't read it. This is fundamentally, I really believe this, this is fundamentally the cause of his donations going down. Blocking people who give and not reading Super Chats. You know what I mean? This is why people give less. They catch him not reading the comments. They catch him skipping over donations. You know, Chad, Chad, had, it the other, Chad had it the other day where... Nine out of ten of his things were all like about Melton and like ribbing him. He just skipped them all. He just skipped them all. Now look, that'll work for a while, but after a while, people will just stop giving you money. I think that I honestly think that that's like the foundation of why it's been trickling down. Jennifer Lynn Rossi, 45, admitted concocting a gross drink to give to her son's classmate in revenge for him. They still need 220, and they're just going to go out roll with stories? Kids' sports drink at their school. Um, If he let the trolls say their comments. Right, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Like, Eventually, every all, even the trolls stop because they're like, he doesn't read them. He doesn't. Why would I pay five dollars to try to get him to do the Sosa thing when he's onto it now and refuses to do it? 
Not only not only is he not taking the bait and doing the Sosa thing anymore, he won't even read your prompt to do it. That's what's crazy. I will I will tell you this. Um the <laughs> The stealing the sports drink to the point where you, the mom drugs. So look at this guy. Trooper goes, maybe this helps. Member for 21 months. So that's like five bucks. Watch him not count that at all. Still 220. That this one's going to. And look, he just got from Corey Adam $2. This is with somebody else. Like, Let's see if $2 comes off. It should go from 218 down to two, 213 now. Let's okay. see. Watch him. I ended up uh, in a coma. Watch him. Sake. Not do math uh, here. Corey Adam comedy with 199 says Johnny was always second best to me. <laughs> Hashtag Rocky time. Oh, we're bringing back the Rocky time thing from Gino and I's show. Oh, maybe oh. I do need a Rocky Patel today. We're having a Rocky. We're, our day is off to a Rocky start. Okay. So again, thanks for the $2, Corey, but it doesn't help the goal at all. Thanks for the $2. It's still 220. Play today's show. That'll do it. <laughs> Thank you, bud. That this is what this is what's wild to me. So thank you to Trooper Fifty Six for renewing his membership for twenty one months. Says maybe this helps. Oh, absolutely. How I much? Two hundred bucks help more. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's still two twenty. It didn't help. Maybe this helps. Yeah, sure. Not with the goal. So five dollar membership, nothing came off the goal. Two dollar donation, nothing came off the goal. Seven dollars, not a penny off the goal. Two, uh -oh. what is it? Two fifteen is the goal today for overtime. We've got an hour. Oh, maybe he did take five off. Look at that. So nothing for the two dollars. Fifteen. Uh, if you want to throw in a couple of bucks to the plate, please do. I brought it back just to humor people today. They wanted me to bring back the plate, and I figure, you know what? Yeah, they for wanted it. Fifteen, that's fine. People oh, wanted it. People wanted it, so I did it. We could have some fun. One minute left. If you That's his idea of having fun, too. Did you catch that? Yeah, I brought it back. I thought we'd have a little fun. Oh, this is fun. So we hope it was uh, funny. It moved pretty quick. Felt like the four hours went pretty fast. Uh, had yeah. some things to talk about. Fauci's Pangolin says, when I say yeah, I mean yeah. Well, thank you, buddy. 210. We take seven of that. We take 210. Uh, Hold on. Did you catch that? They were at 215. They were at 215. Fauci's Pinglin gave 10. He goes, we get seven of that. We're down to 210. 215. Someone gives 10. Should go down to 205. But no, we only make seven of that. So we, we're down to 210. But that's only five. Ten dollars counts at seven, counts as seven, but it only counts as five towards the goal. Can anyone help me here? I, I imagine when he does make three hundred, he probably makes closer to four fifty out of just money he's not counting. He thinks you can't count. Guys, we need two fifteen. This guy gave ten. That counts as seven. We're down to two ten. What? What? Uh, we're, it takes us down to 210. Chilino says the real Corey is way less funny. And by the way, it didn't take him down to 210. It's still sitting there at 215. Not very nice. Uh, thank you for the cool show, says Hitler Diff. Thank you. Los Federales says, damn. This is sadder than a cancer diagnosis. We'll be all right, guys. I'll cover what we miss. Hobo Chili says, I tried to go day wave on Friday. Yeah, this is his new thing. I take out out of my personal, I'll write a check to the company if we don't hit the goal. Don't worry about it. Hey, I felt like a stranger in a strange land. Oh, man. I'm uh, sorry. All right, guys. Uh, that's his, his comments for things are the saddest ever. When he doesn't know what people are talking about or he can't think of anything, he goes, ah, oh, man. Somebody just said something. He goes, ah, oh, man. I'm going to do it for today. We go out with a whimper. If you feel like, all right, I feel be all right, guys. I'll cover what we miss. Hobo Chili says, I tried to go day wave on Friday. I felt like a stranger. In I tried to go day wave on Friday. I felt like a stranger. In a strange land. In a strange land.
Let's hear Movie's comment about that comment. And oh man. Oh man. I'm uh, sorry. All right, guys. Uh, that's gonna do it for today. We go out with a whimper. If you feel like contributing anything after the show's over, oh, I just sneeze. Throw us a few bucks. We would appreciate it. Uh, we you miss- have a second to talk then after we get done with all this. Uh, I go? I do have a I uh, I have a little bit of time. Okay. Yeah. All right, uh, guys, we will talk to you later. Uh, Have a great rest of your day. Uh, (laughs) Boy, did we get our ass kicked. Hopefully, we make it up the rest of the week. Talk to you again soon. Have a great rest of your day. Ah, boogers. Sorry, I just... Fucking these allergies. I just sneezed everywhere. Oh, it's not good. I barely got myself off camera before I blew a load. This is my cousin, Alode. <laughs> um, Jesus. So, and their relationship is so bad that Johnny Crutchman has to ask him on air, can we talk off air? That lets you know that, like, usually the minute they're off camera, movie probably cuts him loose and he's off. So Johnny had to bring it up before he said goodbye. Hey, after the show, can we talk for a second? And Aaron's like, uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. But if they normally like talk before and after a show, if he doesn't cut him off right there, why would he have to bring that up on the, on the air? Hey, could I talk to you for a couple minutes after the show? Uh, usually I like to just give you $38 and, uh, never talk to you till next Monday. But what do you got, Johnny? What do you got? So another win for Steel Toe. <laughs> Let's go back to their, uh, members only show that we're making fun. Going to take another look tonight. I didn't see anything in the preliminary looking. I've I, been I guess looking. We ask tomorrow. I don't I guess know. We ask the children after school tomorrow. Guess, hey, did you guys? Uh, did you guys shit and hide it? You guys play a game of shit and go seek. But I guess if somebody hides that the first time, they're not probably going to tell you about it. I don't. I don't know. I, Imagine you have kids that shit and hide it, and they're genuinely worried about this as if it's a it's a real thing that could happen. Like you know, our kids are pieces of shit. They probably shit and hide it. Don't know what the fuck is going on. Uh, MSO says, Aaron, I just discovered a black wedding ring is another swinger swinger symbol. Google it. Well, mine's brown. Uh, Sir, welcome to the wedding ring store. We have a lot of selections here. Many different styles in tune with today's man and his tastes. What kind of wedding ring would you like? Do you have brown? Brown. You know, Greg, they say geniuses pick brown. 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 UPS and poop. These are two things associated with brown. Who's picking a brown wedding ring? Who's picking that? Hey, I got you a platinum wedding ring. I was really hoping for something in a brown. Imagine brown car. Imagine a brown car. Brown pants. A brown shirt. A brown wedding ring. Brown. And then he's holding it up like an own. <laughs> he's, he's holding that up like, like he owns the world. He's like, uh... Oh, people think a black wedding ring is a symbol of swinging. Joke's on you. Brown. (laughs) Sorry, tan. (laughs) Uh, Grocer white. Thank you. That's what brown is. Grocer white. Look it up. True, True story. $3 keel. He can't keep this up, right? Inflation, price is going up. It has to be over soon. I want him to have to get a real job so bad. I hope he doesn't. I, I really hope he doesn't. The longer he keeps pretending like this is working and not making money, the worse his life has to get. He goes out tomorrow, you know, 
gets a real job or hawks his beige wedding ring. <laughs> you know, he's, he can live a good life again. If he ke- if he keeps making $70 a show, again, he's got to pay Johnny out of that. Hello? He's got to pay Johnny out of that. Wrap your head around it. When it's your wife, at least you can just look over at her and go, well, lima beans for dinner again, bitch. You know, it's just your wife. This is a man he has to pay, an employee. $70. Gross. Gross. That's not just commentary. That's an actual accounting term. Gross, 70. Net, 34? (laughs) And he's got to pay Johnny. You know, I mean, how bad is it going to get? How bad shall this get? So I don't want him to get a job. I want him to keep living on $34. That's what I want him to do. You want him to get a job and to be able to afford brand name Captain Crunch again? Not me. Not not me. I want them to have to get the bottom shelf, bare bagged Mexican store equivalent. Uh, Lieutenant Larry. <laughs> he doesn't have the rank. And what he doesn't have in crunch berries, he makes up for in Larry. Uh, what could Larry, what could Lieutenant Larry have in his cereal? Oh my God. I, I just like, fuck, man. So, yeah, I, I think it's much funnier if they just have to keep lowering their standard of life. Next time they come to, to Vegas, I want them to have to stay in a hostel. And brag about eating in and out. We did it right this time. We stayed at one of the nice seagull suites. Oh. Yours is like I mean, a uh, mine's it's, brown with a black outline. Yours is cobalt, the black yeah. part with a wood inlay. No. Yeah. <laughs> Dope. Yeah, so I don't think this is a black one. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't think that of all the swinger symbols I have. Sorry, it's brown. And you know what? The ring's not one of them. There's going to be at least one comment in there somewhere tonight. Like, well, April's wearing a yellow shirt. You know what else is yellow? Pineapples. And you know what? Pineapples are a symbol of swinging. Swinging. So they really, I mean, it's, this is embedded in their life now. Every, you know, the minute you start losing, when you're running everything through the filter of your critics as you say it, you know, like you can't, you can't say the word pineapple without, backtracking and putting a qualifier on it. Like they, they literally, they'll be talking about pineapple one day and literally like, they'll have to stop and go like, and I know cause we mentioned pineapple. People are going to say we're swinging. It's like, Ooh, we're in your head. Ooh. When you have to start pre making excuses when you're defensive ahead of the criticism. Oh boy. Do we got you. Swinging. You know what? Fine. Femi Lemmy says, I came to eat ice cream and get triggered by April's good looks, and I'm all out of ice cream. Oh, Yay. Femi Lemmy. Uh, no Pen 15 says, I love the shirt, Aaron. Thank you. Gurmy says, are you wearing your church shirt again? Oh. Was this my church shirt, or was my brown one my church shirt? Enough about the brown. Brown ring? Brown shirt? I'm sorry, are there any other men around here who go, have you seen my brown shirt? What do you mean? You're, what, when, when you I say to, church, are you meaning Eric when church I went or church? To, no. When you say church, do you mean Eric church or church? Ha! Gay! When I went to church the other the day. The brown one. When I went to church the other day. Why are they going to church? We're going to church this weekend. Bring out my browns. Bring out my Sunday browns. Bring out my Sunday browns. 
When my bathroom smells like shit And my wife really sick But I got some good thing going for me My name is Booby My name is Booby Have you seen my brown ring? I bet you haven't. Have you seen my brown shirt? I bet you haven't. Ah, uh, my Sunday browns. My Sunday browns. <laughs> she goes, now when you say church, do you mean Eric Church, you little fag of mine? Yeah. What are you wearing under this? What's what are you wearing under this? It's my shirt I got for my buddy's wedding when I was a that, groomsman that says Suplex City that Mayor. That does not match. Look, I'm the mayor of Suplex City. I, look, I love that Suplex City. Remember when he accused everyone else of being wrestling? These guys do wrestling stuff. We don't do that over here at Steel Town. Okay. You, look sure at that. It, you need to wear like a black shirt under that. That does not That's match. That's fine. But I'm the mayor of Suplex City. Yeah, I'm the, now that, and I'm the mayor of Snotville. <laughs> technically, I could be the mayor of Suplex City. Because do you know who the original mayor of Suplex City was? Aaron loves quizzing her on wrestling and movies. And look at her face now. She's like, fuck. I'm sick and there's a quiz today? It's quiz time, April. He just wants a woman he can fuck who's like into everything he's into. And she works so hard to try to please him. Learn all his movie lines. Learn all his wrestling tics. Jesse Ventura? No, Brock Lesnar. Oh, and fucking hell. Brock Lesnar doesn't... I should have known that. I always fail these tests. ...exist anymore. Did you know that? WWE's oh, eliminated the, him from existence name. because yeah. of the Vince McMahon yep. stuff. I did hear that. Did you know that? I did hear that. If... Let me just tell you this. If any woman I ever date or am interested in banging is up to date on WWE news, I'm out. I'm out. My dick gets soft immediately hearing a woman go, I did hear that about Vince McMahon. I did hear that. Yeah, I'm out. Through the grapevine somewhere. And then I heard that they're talking about white, like eliminating John Cena. No. Who cares? Who cares? This is stuff for kids and like single guys with no legs. Sorry, Quad. What? From existence that you somehow know. he's caught up. Oh, she's adjusting her mic again. And that's a pretty face. That's a pretty face. Hey, Reddit, print. Hey, Reddit, print. That's a pretty, pretty lady. There's a pretty lady. This whole thing. Oh my God. Because I saw a, a, uh, I, I saw a, a, a still shot, a meme of. You, her whole, every bit of her face always just says. How did I get here? How did this happen to me? Brock Lesnar, Chris Benoit, and John Cena in a ring in a triple threat match. Yeah. Yeah, I love that kind of stuff. This poor woman. She's not, she has no more interests of her own. It's just what a he's into. And she better be ready at any moment for a quiz. And, it's, and it says in the meme, it says, <laughs> according to WWE, no one is in the ring. Because Benoit obviously doesn't wow. exist anymore. What? Yeah, no. they, they decided. How's his family? Yeah. Oh, Not sorry. so good. Sorry. Not so good. I think he has one survivor. Did April? Anybody else? Did April? The thing about Melton. You can say it, you can deny it until you're red in the face. All the haters end up doing it because I create so many little catchphrases. 
Sorry. She did it. And you can't, again, Pat Dixon did this the other night, and he used to go, I hate when Melton does that. It's, like, weird. Pat Dixon did it the other night. Kevin does it all the time. Chad's been caught doing it. It's just too catchy. So you get outed as somebody who watches Melton when out of nowhere you go, sorry. It's like no one else does that. Sorry, They don't. They don't. They don't. Come on. At least in this corner of the internet, I'm the one who goes, sorry. Whoa. Whoa. Shuli does it too. Oh, no. Get me a clip. Kevin does it all the time. I've heard Chad do it. Uh, Pat Dixon did it. I caught him. He doesn't usually do it. This is nuts. She just, she literally did it. She goes, sorry. Ah! Oh, I'm so happy. I have a fan. They decided. How's his family? Yeah. Oh, not sorry. so good. Sorry. Not so good. Sorry. <laughs> I think he has one surviving kid. Trump does it. No, he doesn't. I've never heard Trump do that. I've never heard Trump do that. Kevin, Kevin, every show there's uh, uh, number one son. <laughs> Sorry. There's some there's some meltonism. It earworms their way in. Uh so his family's <laughs> resting. We don't watch Melton. Sorry. We don't watch it. Sorry. Oh, okay. Relaxing. They'll turn up. Uh, then Brock, of course, doesn't exist. Somebody, yeah, but somebody Ugh. said Cena is. All right, let's go to a caller and see if there's any comments on this roofing cunt. Hello. That's right. How about it there? <laughs> roofing cunt confirmed. <laughs> that's, how come she's, that's how come she's never there at the show. She's busy listening in to NLO. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's right there, Mr. Milton. That's right. You know what that means. Jimmy, you got those crosshairs lined up on that big ass forehead on the roofing cut. We yeah, got cut. him. You got him. You got him, Milton. You got him. <laughs> <laughs> Rip it old, roofing cut. <laughs> Thank you, Buzzard. We'll see you tomorrow. Roofing cunt. Yo, listen up. Here's the story about a little guy that lives in a brown world and all day and all night and everything he sees is just brown, like him inside and outside. Brown is his house with the brown little window and a brown Corvette and everything is brown, brown for brown, him and himself da, 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 and everybody da, 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 around because he ain't got nobody to listen to. I'm brown dabadi 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 man that is a job was in my thought a am. I have a brown house with a brown window. Brown is the color of all that I wear. Brown are the streets and all the trees are too. I have a girlfriend and she is so brown. Oh, God. His house is brown. His, his walls are brown. His carpet is brown. His wood paneling is brown. His wedding ring is brown. His favorite ch church shirt is brown. He's brown, ba ba dee ba ba die, ba ba dee da brown, ba ba dee da die. What color is April's vagina? It's brown, ba ba dee ba ba. Is gonna get wiped from uh, existence. John Cena, WWE. That seems like a huge name. Well, Lesnar is too. Like those are big names to be deleting from history. Thanks, Ape. Yeah, but with uh, with um with what. Brock's accused of in those Vince McMahon accusations. Oh boy. Yeah, oh boy. this stuff's ugly. I don't know. Why can't I said this to somebody the other day? I when you're a celebrity athlete, uh I said this to somebody the other day. This ought to be good. Actor, whatever, and you've got all the money at your disposal and all these good things in your life. Your life's fucking perfect, essentially. 
Oh boy, is this do you feel the angst behind this? You know, when your life's perfect and you're famous and you have money and everything's going well. Oh boy. Does she sound like a little boy at the bottom of a mountain looking up at the rich people on top? You know, if if you have Sure. Why are you getting yourself in this kind of trouble? Why? Why? Because you like to fuck. Okay. The same Let's testosterone. Let's try to throw our life away with the fuck. Uh, that, that's difficult for men. The same testosterone wow. that drove them to be these great athletes and everything oh. else is the same thing that led them to fuck everything that moves. And Wow. It's like Mooby. He can't help it. He can't help it that he's sexy to all the women who hear him. He's a sex guy. He likes to fuck. <laughs> so imagine when he opens up his email after a show and there's just piles of fan mail from dripping wet ladies like Tiff and MGD and Fearless. And they're all like, mm, well, let me know when you get rid of that April. I'd like to bring you some cheese. Yes. I like to drive all alone in my Subaru Outback from Sometimes those things that move don't want you to do the fucking. Okay, what is what is this? No, the thing about uh so yeah, no, the thing about guys that you got to know is it all that testosterone that made them these giant fuck machines they've they've essentially what they've got to do you know it's hard for men out there because they've got they do so with men the problem it's easy to to tell with men so what they do you know it's so hard for them what is this with his? So they, you know, it's like he's doing magic tricks, but forgot himself where the coin went. It's like, what are we, what am I watching? It's, it's Brown syndrome. <laughs> he really like with these hands, I can't, it, it doesn't stop. It's very, very odd. And then you get in trouble for fucking no. things that didn't want you to fuck them. You uh, get in I trouble. Don't know. It's I, don't, I don't know if you've kept up with legal code, but in 2024. Is that just comfortable? Like, what's crazy is, is, like, I don't mean to just break this down every day, but, like, his elbow's not even resting on anything. So he's holding this up in the air for no reason. For a long time, he's just doing this. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, the thing about, it's like, what? what is, what is he doing? It's illegal to have sex with. That's not a comfortable pose to just stop in. Things that don't want to have sex with you. Yes, I do remember that one. Good. Yeah, I can't even giggle. Did you hear that? Yeah. Femi Lemmy says, oh, my God, April's <laughs> making me more insecure. Stop wearing so immodestly. Ree! Thank you, Femi Lemmy. This, look at it on camera. This shirt makes my shoulders, like, massive. The one that's Weird, exposed. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, the one. I get it. I like this shirt. Dr. Chow, the mega G, says, nice cowboy shirt, Aaron. Thank you, Chow. That is a great shirt. Appreciate it, yeah. buddy. Would love to see Aaron wear a cowboy hat. I the only thing that would make it any cooler is if it was brown, like a nice... Wedding ring brown. I actually want a brown cowboy hat to go with my brown cowboy. What? N now he's dreaming of brown. One day. You know what I'd really like? More brown clothes. <laughs> Shirt and my brown cowboy boots. And my brown coat. Brown it up. You know what I'd like? More brown things. 
Oh, no. Rolled out of bed this morning. Man just had to get some taurine in my system, some fucking caffeine, a little glucurnolactone, B vitamins. Why not some guarana, ginseng, ginkgo, biloba, L-carnitine, sugars, antioxidants, and trace minerals? The shit is essential. Celsius 3 cans for 8 bucks at the Wawa. Make sure you get me a can if you stop there. API. You got it, honey. Do you still want me to pick up the ED pills as well? See you after work. Yeah, somebody's going to Brown Town tonight. Brown brings cozy peace and its warmth. Fondness increases. Love for it won't cease. Rich soil births new life. Chocolate melts in delight. Brown hues nature's strife. Brown rich and embrace warmth of earth. Love soft embrace in its depths we trace. Coffee's warm allure. Cocoa hugs sweet and pure. Brown love ever sure. That's why, like, anytime you see anybody with a, a beige, tan, or brown car, you know they're poor. Because no one picks that. No one picks that. You know, I I, I think my Acura TL was, like, uh, champagne colored. And that's, to, that's gross enough. That's too close to beige. So I, I, I'm not down with brown. I'm really not. And and to sit there and fantasize about the brown clothes you don't have that you want is is bananas. You know what I really want? A brown shirt to go with my brown hat and my brown boots and my brown brown and my brown wedding ring and my brown underwear and my brown wife and my brown man. You should get a brown one with like black accents on it though cuz a lot of your shit is like darker. And again, you know, universally, brown and black do not go together. Everyone knows this, you know, since you were eight years old and got your first reversible belt for church. You don't wear a black belt with brown shoes or vice versa. It doesn't go together. Everyone will tell you this. Everyone will tell you this. Don't wear black and brown together. Don't wear brown shoes with black socks or black, you know, like everyone knows this. She's like, you know what you should get? Brown with black accents. That'll look sharp. That'll look sharp. Or get a black shirt with just brown cuffs. That'll look nice. That'll look nice. It's like, said no one ever. Said no one ever. Devil dog. Hello? Yes. It's the one color that doesn't go with brown. It's the one color you don't wear with brown. Black. It looks like you don't know the difference when you're wearing those two things. But April's idea is like, you know what you should do? You should get dark brown stuff. I think they call it black. Just so it goes with everything. Can you wear a brown shirt with black accents? If you match all the accessories correctly. Again, no one will tell you this. No one will suggest this. She's like, I've seen it done. I've seen it done. Yes, I do it a lot. April, I do it a lot. April wears brown and black a lot. Anybody ever seen that? No, but she does it a lot. Wears less, Aaron wears more, says P.A. Cheddar. That is kind of the... D. Gulag says, is April on Coke? April. Remember, remember when they... Coltsy's brown shirt looks so nice on you, Aaron. It goes well with my 2009 buckle jeans with all the white stitching and so we, but I'm keeping Colt C's brown socks too. Sorry. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a really good point. This is their, this is their show. To think that they do a show anymore that's a pro show where the only ones you know how to do it. No, no, no. They fire up the stream and read the chat say whatever you want i don't even do that at this point i have a more prepared professional show than you again without even trying without even trying your show now aaron and i defy you i know you watch everything i do i defy you to prove me wrong Start a show and just start doing your content without reading the chat. I don't think you can. I think your new format is the same as Chad Zumox 
and everyone else with no idea what they're doing, Ray DeVito, go live, read the chat. Go live, read the chat. It's all they have. Fact. Yeah, I am dreaming of a brown cowboy hat to go with my cowboy boots. Your gay friend Carl, his dork brigade, and I are putting together a village people tribute band. Hey, buddy, exactly how many floors did you get WATP for Hackamania? Did you go with net jets or wheels up to fly those gash hounds to the gig? Love what you do, pal. Uh, no, Carl's supposed to be booking those and getting back to me, but I haven't heard. Um, single mother of five. The kids obvi uh, obviously left them on the upper deck. Sorry. The kids obviously left them on upper decker before leaving to their real mom's house for the weekend. Got them. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? You have to pay for the overtime to get the con content. Yeah, so they did, a, they did a show Friday. It was three hours and 17 minutes. So technically they owe 43 minutes for that show. Plus Rumble Fridays are automatic overtime, right? Automatic. So technically they owe... 73 minutes for Friday. Then they didn't do a members only show Sunday. So that's an hour. And Aaron this morning said, we didn't play it, but Aaron this morning said, uh, guys, don't worry. I know I owe you a half hour. I know I owe you a half hour. It's like you owe 43 minutes of regular programming, 30 minutes of overtime on Friday and an hour for your members only show. So that's two hours and 13 minutes, and in Aaron's head, he owes you 30 minutes. So he, he's, he's great with math. He's great with math as long as you don't want any of the numbers to make sense. Whenever it's what he owes you, it somehow comes out under, you know? Like, uh, oh, I owe you two, two hours, 13 minutes? Let's call it 30 minutes. Okay. Also, whatever you donate, it always comes out under. You donated 10 bucks, that counts as seven, put five on the board. All right, guys, that counted as five. You just said it count. You saw 10, you said seven, and you wrote down five. Anyone? Thanks for the 10 bucks, that counts as seven. Put down that he gave five. What? I mean, this is skimming at a whole new level. And MGD says says what everyone's thinking. Imagine owing show to your fans. This is my problem. You don't owe me money, and I don't owe you shows, okay? Thank you for the money. I'm give, 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 give. I'll take the money. You don't owe it to me. I give you extra shows all the time. You know, more than our, you know tentatively agreed upon four hours a morning that's not even official where does it say that melton does four hours every morning no he doesn't he does whatever he wants there's nowhere anywhere where it says melton's on every morning at 6 a.m no nope, no nope, no nope. you just come here thinking i will be and sometimes i am <laughs> that's on you you're an idiot i don't owe you shit i don't owe you shit and you're lucky you get this what's brown and black and looks good on Chad Zumok, a Rottweiler. I play brown doo doo play doh when it comes out of my doo doo ass. I use a stick to poke it and stir it. It, it is fun and I love my poo poo playhouse. Poo poo playhouse. Upper decker. Good theory. No. April, are you on coke? Why is that a thing now? Can I just be sick? You're the cocaine kid. I'm not, though. You're not the cocaine I've kid? I've never been a fan you've never of been any the, of that shit. You've never been the cocaine kid? No. All right. No, can I just have, a, like, a sickness? Is that okay? I've been the cocaine kid. I know you have. You have a very funny story with one it. One time I was the cocaine kid. I was never I the wish, coke. I always wish that I could have... There's one story about cocaine that she knows, and Aaron already started it one time. <laughs> Aaron's one cocaine story. Let's hear it, everybody. One time... With cocaine. Seen you. One time at Coke Camp. <laughs> like that. You ever, have you ever seen a 32-year-old man? Ra uh, uh, wait, 32? Rape? Ooh, what am I now? 37? Four years with you? 33? Yeah, about. I met you when I was about 33. Have you ever met a 32-year-old man 
Uh, he has to do math to make sure he's not telling a story about cheating on her. When did I meet you? 33? Yeah, it was 32. When? Th yep. Okay. Uh, yes. Thrash dance to California love? I mean, not thrash dance, no. Then you haven't seen me. No, on just modestly dance, yes. Then you haven't seen me on coke. P.A. Cheddar says, would love to see Aaron wear a cowboy hat, but I just read that. Uh, uh, Crunchy Cynicism says, April, I'm so sorry, but it's AIDS. I've been calling this AIDS all weekend. Uh, yeah, I know because you're Anthony Cumia in 2007. <laughs> That's funny because I've been calling it AIDS. Yeah, I know. I know. You guys' comedy brains peaked. In Sirius Satellite Radio 2007, you think AIDS and the N-word are like the holy grail of comedy. That's funny because I was calling it AIDS. I know, I know. Any Anytime anybody sniffles, you guys both go to AIDS. And anytime any, anything about a monkey comes up, you, you guys both go, like, black people. Yeah, we know. We know. It's played the fuck out. It's been done uh, so much. We know. We know. AIDS, Jews, trans, nigs. We know. We know. It's wild. It's wild. What? The nigs? Oh, the nigs are wild. Oh. I mean, it, it really is like, we know. We know AIDS. We know. Anything that was on whack bag makes you both fall down laughing. Crumb, crumb bomb makes a good point. AIDS is a great joke, though. <laughs> that, no, but that is what they think. I'm surprised they don't sit around and go, remember when I said AIDS? <laughs> ah, you're a longer. You're a longer. What is she, a Jew? <laughs> I'm too much. I really am too much. Chow agrees with you. He says, I would lose the undershirt, Aaron. Yeah, that's not good. That doesn't match. I love this name. Black Pecker Fact Checker. Whoa. Says, April's weirdo hairdo was oddly attractive, like a Kensington 9. Thanks. Can't See, now even, I don't do coke, but I might be on Frank. Can't even get a, Kensington. Can't even get a 10 in Kensington, huh? Isn't a, yeah, that sucks. Uh, isn't Frank like the drug in Kensington? Trank the one is a that big one. makes them zombie out and like fall over. Well, I think meth and fentanyl are still <laughs> the big ones, but Trank's the trendy one. I need for sure. That's what the hipsters in Kentucky. I have a do. request for, from you. Sure, or for you. Yeah, more brown. Is there any chance in this world that you care enough about me that you would hook like a garden hose up to my my sinuses and like? It's called a neti pot. They make one. It's called a neti pot. Again, I don't know if they have them in Minnesota yet, but this has been around for thousands of years. Turn it on full blast and just kind be, of. That could be kind of fun. You know. It's going to be cold. It might feel good at this point. <laughs> Give it a shot. I need Everything's worth anything a shot. Anything to like flush the shit. If only they made something that could flush out your nose. <laughs> if only. <laughs> I don't know. Mel Gibson after 12 beers says, nice top, April. Last time I saw two small nips, my Japanese girlfriend had twins. Hey, that's a nip joke. <laughs> wow, thank you. We got to talk to our friends to see if we can make our uh, announcement. I know. Speaking of, speaking of nips, I just thought can of I her. Text her quick? When I thought of nipples, I thought of her. Can I just text her real quick? Yeah, Can I ahead. tell you something? Shoot her when I wear nipple shirts, I think of her too. Okay. Every time. Yeah. When I think of nipples, I think of her. Should I just go now? Should I just leave? Wow. Well, She's the do a pro show. Tales of Coke too. It's okay to admit it. Hold on. I just said z zero. Zero connection now again. Zero connection. At least it'll count for something on the recorded. 
uh, version. Wow. So we're getting to see right away this does not work. <laughs> the backup does not work. Wow. It's not failing over. Won't switch over. So, yeah, it looks like my internet's cutting out. The internet's disconnected. And somehow it is uh, switching over to the backup. So this has been a bunch of money spent for nothing. And let me see if I can go see what's going on. Cox is out. T-Mobile's up. T-Mobile is up. But the problem is it's going in and out and in and out the uh, Cox. So it's constantly switching every like eight seconds. So that's interesting. He spilled Coke on the road caster. Yeah, it's definitely not good. Um, now, I don't know if. Yeah, see the so the problem is it's just not constantly out, so it's it keeps constantly connecting and reconnecting and connecting back and connecting back and connecting back and connecting back. So now the problem is it's alternating between the new, the two connections. And now I'm getting notifications from it. I don't know. I don't know. And it says it's trickling out of connection, but I imagine it's bad. Jiggle the wires, bitch. <laughs> Everyone's got solutions, you know. It it lets you know that like the general public really has no idea how how the internet works. You know? Cause something like this happens, half the people are like, reset your Wi Fi. Jiggle the cable. You should go to a hard connection. You should wire it in. No, you're not getting it. You don't know how it works, Melton. Oh, yeah. I don't know how it works. And then other people like that. Uh, sorry, I am only, I'm going to only talk about the internet while the internet's out because, um, you know, there's no point in really like talking about anything else but it is funny people go like he hasn't with cox now this is every 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 day with cox now addicted to ubiquity says change it over to load balanced and says shut up shut up it's the last thing i want to do you don't know what the fuck you're talking about so shut up you think I want a load balance between a gigabit connection and a cell phone connection? Shut up. One's completely down, idiot. So it it literally makes no difference at the current moment. Also, shut up. There's three settings on the thing. You think I don't know what they do? Oh, th oh fuck, I never knew. Yeah, I would like to load balance them, you fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to load balance it. You're dumb. Never suggest anything to me again. You fucking chud. <laughs> I can't put your super uh, chats on the screen. I can put super tips on the screen. So I will be ignoring you. April M. Holtz has unplugged the modem for a few to reset it. Again, you all have like... I... Do you think I have... A modem plugging into cable coming out of my wall plugged into this computer. I'm not you. Shut up. <laughs> you 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 couldn't begin to understand the setup here. So shut up. Your ideas suck. <laughs> no 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 no. All right, now it says Cox is back up. That's probably why we're working. All right, so that was our first real-world test. What did we learn? In a way, we learned that at least it doesn't completely disappear and go down, but also it's not 
good. Load balance it. It's the dumbest suggestion I've ever heard when one connection's completely out. Yeah, no, that sounds good. That sounds like a good idea. I'll load balance it. I want to burn everything. I just want to burn everything, you know? Fucking chodes. Yeah, maybe you should change it. Maybe I should. Maybe I should, man. I never really thought about that. April M. Okay, that's not helpful. Reformat your C drive. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, I do love this freeze frame, though. We get some doozies just accidentally. <laughs> Pay the bill. Can you imagine? Okay to admit it. What is wrong with you? Red Fox Mad says, good Sunday afternoon, April and Aaron. Good. April, Aaron and April, did you buy the new Vikings license plates? No. Oh, see, that's not, that's a little too permanent for me. Like, if we're having a bad season, I can't, like, have that on. Uh, Paul R. Nelson says, you get the two, you two get the common cold and treat it like you recovered from cancer. This it is not the influenza. common cold. This is influenza. 103 degree temp for days. Now, again, neither one of them went and got checked or tested for influenza, but they're convinced. It's like Josh Denny and COVID. Josh Denny will tell you he's had COVID five times, and he first got it in October 2019 before anyone knew what it was. I'm not kidding you. Josh Denny really says those words. I had it in October 2019 before anybody knew about COVID. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We know, we know. They've, they, again, Aaron said it. Like, I, I'm not gay. I didn't go get, like, a test done or anything. But but it was definitely influenza. Right. And have you ever met dudes? Everything's bad. Every Body time aches. dudes recover from a cold, they act like they just beat cancer. Are you kidding? One of my favorite memes here is when Mubi tells you how guys operate. Again, what dudes are you hanging out with? Plus, dudes, you know how dudes are. Anytime they get a cold, they act like it's AIDS. <laughs> what? I have people run marathons in my neighborhood when I recover from colds to honor me. April's on his phone, and Aaron doesn't know what he's talking about. Is this still a pro show? I'm confused. I'm just asking. Is this still a pro show? Uh, Paul Arnell, or excuse me, G-Chup says. Tiff has a great one. April looks like every girl at the end of the bar. Oh, no. April looks like every girl at the end of the bar. Yeah, she's looking for her friends. She got separated from the group. Do you know if there's a place called Sporties around here? <laughs> you know? She's missing a shoe. They leave an upper decker. No. Chris Doherty says toilet stopped up. The toilet isn't stopped up. I've been flushing it and flushing it and flushing it. The toilet is fine. Oh, I'm trying to... Something. She's always, you know, they're always pointing at the street. Is this Maine? Is this right out here, Maine? Happened. And upper decker addicted to ubiquity. I thought upper decker. I really did. I know the kids would never do that, but I still check the tank anyway. This is rough. Nothing. Run water in the sink and shower, says P.A. Cheddar. Maybe. Yeah, see, I was asking Aaron, too. I'm like, does, is it a drain that stinks? Yes. No, it's the fresh water supply, you stupid whore. Are we sure it's the drain that stinks? No, 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 no. It's the faucet. Yeah, the hot water just reeks of shit. I don't know. Could be. Could be. It could be the drains, guys. It could be the hole where all the shit goes. Or it could be the one where all the fresh water comes from. We're not sure. We're not sure. My sink has two holes. One where water comes from, one where water goes. I don't I don't know which one it coming from. Did Maybe April we need some Drano? Did April take a shit in the toilet tank? No. Yeah, Drano is air freshener for pipes. Oh. oh. Balls and Wiener says that shirt go good with your rock and roll denim jeans headed to a Hinder concert. Thank you, buddy. 
Uh, Black Pecker Fact Checker says, D. Gulag, I started putting a half gram of blow in a shot glass. Uh, yep. Oh, okay. Yep. We're good. We'll talk. Oh, boy. They're allowed to talk about the big announcement from Nips. They got the okay from Nips, whoever Nips is. Talk about that in a second. Yes. D. Gulag. Yeah. Please, please, please let the Biscontes be coming out to Minnesota again for a visit. Like I started putting a half gram of blow in a shot glass of water and bottoms up. Then I would be numb from the bottom Ugh. up, literally. Jesus Christ, Jesus. you guys. It's an animal. Some of this shit is just a bit rough to hear. Hell ye- April got grossed out by somebody saying they mix cocaine with water. Somebody said I mix cocaine with water, and April went, Jesus Christ. Okay. Says that your kids are doing God's work. Yeah, I, I don't know. I gotta. My whole night now is going to be figuring out why my bathroom reeks of shit. Yes, it's not the best thing to come home to. You know, nobody used it all weekend. So nobody shit all weekend. It had to be the kids. Belusier says, "I'm a plumber. The high wind can siphon the water from the pee trap and allow sewer gas into the room. Happens in sink." Look at April's face. Now look, she doesn't know what a pee trap. I'm guessing. I I've been watching this. I'm guessing she doesn't know what a pee trap is. And she's gonna be, you know, she's gonna say something real dumb. Smells more like the poo trap might be leaking. Have we checked the poo trap? No, because if there's a pee trap, if there's a pee trap. Really, really. Tub or shower? Should no. I go run hot water for a little while? What good is that going to do if it's a gas? So she's disgusted by P trap and gas. She doesn't understand that the P trap is the curve in the pipe that stops gas from leaking out. So she's like, "What good would that do? Oh, it would fill the P trap back up with water so it doesn't allow gas to leak out into your home." I don't know. Push the gas no. down. Both of them don't know how plumbing works. Now, look, I know many of you are sitting there at home going like, I don't know what the fuck this, they're talking about either. Congrats on being a fucking idiot. Congrats on being a fucking What do you want me to say? Go like, oh, well, then that's okay. Most people don't understand. Learn. Learn it. Learn it. You might want to own a house one day. Learn it. This thing where we're all so proud of not knowing shit needs to stop. It, like, you should be embarrassed to not know some basic plumbing and electric and carpentry and automotive. I don't know. Chad's 50 years old. I don't know what a catalytic converter is, man. I don't even fucking know. Uh, I'm not saying you got to know how it works or how to fix it with your teeth blindfolded. Like chi tying a cherry stem in your mouth. I'm saying sh you should have an idea of like just what is, man. I I I'd love to know what's bouncing around in their head with how they think plumbing works. Running water, what would that do if there's gas leaking? You know, she thinks they gotta call somebody because gas is leaking water goes through pipes gravity okay at least we got the other but so it's le she does, she's going it's leaking gas water is water i don't see one canceling out the other i mean again i who do they call <laughs> who do they call when a tire needs changing when when like Again, I don't. You think I'm calling a plumber to snake my drain? You think I'm calling a plumber if I smell gas? No. No. But you at can least, do what you want. But at least that makes sense. You can do what you want. Jerry Lahane says, April, this will help. Simplest fix salt water, snort, sniff up, then one teaspoon of baking soda with hot water, later chicken soup. Twist a tough napkin, tornado st style, up nose, spin slowly. That sounds. 
involved. Oh my goodness. This is scary. That sounds involved. Here, I have that sinus rinse I got like two weeks ago. I just didn't have time to use it yet today. I'm going to try it after the show. I swear to fuck. And I- so now she's like, I got a sinus rinse a while ago. I haven't tried it yet. Cut back to 20 minutes ago when she's like, I wish they made something that could rinse out my sinuses. I wish they made something that could rinse out my sinuses. Now she's going, remember what? I, I bought that sinus rinse. I got to try that. I haven't tried it yet. It's like, uh, okay. So says not that there's anything wrong with that and then puts a pineapple in there. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Chow, the mega G says, nah, don't wear undershirts with button ups or snap shirts unless they tank beaters. Dude, I agree with Dr. Chow. I've never been a big shirt underneath the button up guy. I've only seen you wear a shirt under a button up. No. No, you're wrong. You haven't seen that. Oh, I, I've been shamed into it. What? Yeah, I like I wearing no shirt you. under a. I like wearing no shirt under a button up. Stop wearing them. No skin off my back. I don't know I what you're fucking talking about. Liberated now that I can say that. Thank you, Doctor Chow. You know, people don't give Doctor Chow enough respect. He's really just a Renaissance man, more than anything He's else. A borscht eating. Sunglass wearing. He's a borscht eating, insightful sack of shit. That's feel, Dr. Chow. Am I saying borscht correctly? Borscht. 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 It's gross. It's a end. gross word. It's a gross soup. You want Whoa. some fucking beet soup, you Russian peasants? Beet? Uh, yeah. I you didn't know it. that borscht is beets? Look, I don't eat beets very often, but like those pickled beets that are on salad bars and shit taste like pure dirt. They're disgusting. Oh, man. You want to see some borscht? They're like too earthy for me. Here- Beets on salad bars. Here you go. There's a classic borscht. Look at that, April. Look That's at not borscht. what I thought that was. You I, don't like borscht? I thought he was eating like a cream-colored soup. Ooh. I have no idea. You got to like your borscht. Beans, beets, carrots, potatoes, oh. cabbage. I'm sure it's good. There's other stuff besides beets in it, so. Well, I look. You That's can just not what I thought good. it was. I wish they'd get to the big announcement. All right, uh, G Chub says, Aaron, no love for Taz. Check out his suplexes. Taz? Well, no, but uh, no. Brock Lesnar would take people to Suplex City. Ooh. That was his whole, his whole gimmick. That's why he was the mayor of Suplex City. Because the mayor is the one who gives everyone rides to the city. You know? Guys, that's why he got the nickname Mayor of Suplex City. He's the one who takes people there. Just like the pilot on my last flight is the mayor of Las Vegas. And then when I flew to Atlantic City, it was, the pilot was the mayor of Atlantic City. Guys, that's why they get the name. They're the one who takes people there. Hello, Mayor. Mm-hmm. I got to catch up with the chat here. I lost it. I'm so sorry. Thank you guys for the money. We're going to get to thanking all of you when we catch up with the chat. My lost interest says April giving me. Will- We're going to thank everyone when we get to catching up with the chat. All they've done is read the chat. We're, th- we're, we're, we're well into the show. All they've done is read the chat and they're letting you know. Don't worry, guys. We are going to get in there and read the chat. All you've done is read the chat. All you've done is read the chat. Oma Flintstone vibes. I can see that. And then fucking Jack Shaft says April at top is disturbing. <laughs> Please take it off. I don't get it. <laughs> Jack Flaps says April at top is disturbing. Please take it off. <laughs> what is funny about that? Why are her lips getting noodly and she can't even contain herself while reading that? April, that shirt looks really good. You can get off. <laughs> what? 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 Why is that giggle inducing for two people to read, I don't like the shirt, take it off? <laughs> the chat. My lost interest says April giving me Wilma Flintstone vibes. I can see that. And then fucking Jack Shaft says April at top is disturbing. <laughs> Please take it off. Uh, <laughs> Please take it off. Wow, that's crazy. Please take it off, they said. Wow. I don't get it. I love, oh. I don't get I it. I get what it. What does he mean? Oh, I thought he actually hated the shirt. Now I get it. 
Sorry. Wait, you didn't get it at first? I'm sick. I need a pass today. Ah, good I job, Jack sorry. Shaft. No, because you've been sexualizing yourself so much lately. They wanted you naked. Don't wait. Thank, Atta boy. Thank you. Oh, Jack I get it. Oh, so the this, this Cena part of the meme is because what Cena's saying? What's his big gimmick? Uh, when he does this, what does he say? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. You don't know what this means? No. <laughs> you can't see me. Oh. So, okay, so they're not thinking of eliminating Cena from the WWE. <clears throat> You've got Brock, Benoit, and then John Cena. You can't see him, so there's nobody in the ring. So they're, they're describing a meme they described 30 minutes ago. Oh. Ah. That's just clever as all hell. Get it. Uh, Chilino says, came to say hi, Aaron. I'm going to watch Uncle Rico, though. I need a laugh, you fucking guy. Damn. You Rude. dick. Another show about stuttering John? I mean, really? All right, to each his own. This is just another show where people drink beer and count all the money they're not making. We, we're here to watch you and your dumb wife drink beer and beg for money. While not understanding the earth. Black Pecker fact checker says Brock just wanted some waterworks on personal video. I mean, really, you're going to crucify the guy? So I John has to be, like have the biggest ego ever at this point. Like, he should. So many shows like seriously are just obsessed with him. There are a lot of people whose children eat because stuttering John exists. Yeah. Probably including him. Like his. Yeah, right, I don't well, know how old his kids are. Yeah, but I mean. Oh, my goodness. There's, yeah, I mean, they're, like, Shuli and those guys, they don't have a channel without Stuttering um, John. Somebody linked me to Stuttering John's Twitter yesterday. I guess Stuttering John was, like, talking about me all weekend, but he just, he doesn't tag me, so I had no idea. And I don't really, like, go reading Twitter very often. Um... Yeah, I guess he's been going just like, eh, fatty, patty, this, fatty, patty, that. It's like, okay. Oh, I think he wrote like, fatty, patty disappeared from the dabble verse. It's like, okay. I mean, first of all, from your lips to God's ears. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I'm out of the stuttering John universe. Oh, no. Oh, no. However, will I survive any of that? Uh, fifty dollars, Steve H. Let's lighten things up here, a little with Apple Talk. I I'd love to, but you know I have no no takers. Jen Bentley s swears up and down that uh, she's got a better Apple than uh than than my sweet Tango, but I haven't heard anything about it. She she's given no real criticism. Jason Bentley said she she wasn't impressed. I don't know I don't know anything about it. I don't know how you're not impressed. I, I'm i not impressed with the likes. Hit the like button. You know. I, 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 man. I would literally, I would seriously, seriously pay to hear the conversations in this household when, when the cameras are off. I don't want anything sick. I don't need to see them naked or pretending to make love or eating pasta salad in bed. I just want to. I just want to hear them talk. I want to hear how he treats her when the cameras are off. I want to hear them fight about money. I want to hear them arguing about shit smells. What they think plumbing is. Run water down the sink. Water's a liquid. Gas is a gas. She said that. She said that out loud. Gas is a gas. She said that out loud. And then she goes, I don't know how running one's going to fix the other. I don't think they cancel each other out. Well, you've never been around a rainstorm while I'm farting then. Okay? Because they do. They do. I mean, what a fucking idiot. She thinks that running water down the drain is supposed to cancel out the gas. That's how it works. I, I imagine being her dad. 
and watching her, you know, you watch her growing up. She's in high school. You can tell she's not ugly. You can tell she's not a gross fat pig like her mom. You're like, maybe she's going to have a chance. And then she just runs off with a radio guy who, who giggles every time he says the N-word, rapidly approaching age 40, unable to pay the bills. Ejected out of another relationship. Rejected by his own parents. And now your little girl's partnered up with him. Because he says the N-word so funny. He said the N-word so funny when he said the N-word. He says it funny. No, like when he says it, it's funny. It's funny. I don't know how Liquid's supposed to cancel out gas. (laughs) Okay. Me neither. Me neither, really. (sighs) What do we pivot to? What do we even pivot to? I got Heather Gillespie. I got Bauer. I got Tommy NC2010. I got exclusive Chad Zumok stuff. We'll probably save for tomorrow. I got I guess it's just all about Steel Toe. Catching up with Steel Toe. Friday and today. Just Steel Toe, Steel Toe, Steel Toe. Oh, here's something. All right, we'll do this. No, we'll save that for tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can I say this? I was on the. I, I'm, I'm getting to a point. I, I had YouTube open last night, and I'm scrolling, and the Uncle Rico emergency show was on. And before I even looked at the rest of the screen, I just closed my eyes immediately, and I and I go. You ever do that game where you like bet yourself like if I get it right then I then I get 10 million dollars. You know, half court basketball shot. You play these little games in your mind in your mind like if I can guess when the lights going to turn green I get a million dollars. If I'm within 1 second. Now, and then it turns and you're like, "Yes," and there's no million dollars, but you're just playing these little games in your head. You all know what I'm talking about? Cool. Maybe it's just me and I'm insane. Um I don't even I don't even know where the fuck I was going with that. What was I what the fuck where was I going with that? Fuck, I'm dr- I'm completely blank. I'm completely blank. Hold on. I got to look over my thing because I feel like I had a point. Guessing when something's going to happen. Winning a million dollars in your head. What was I talking about? Where the fuck was I going with that? I really, I'm like, I'm retarded now. I'm completely blank. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. 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 About It was about YouTube. So I close my eyes. Uncle Rico's show was on, and I go, I go. You have to guess within a hundred how many viewers they have right now, and I just immediately went one point five thousand. They have one point five thousand, and then I looked, and you're not going to believe this. They had one point five thousand viewers, and I just, it is interesting. It is interesting. At this point in my show, I could look over. This is real. I could look over it, from what it's been the past couple of weeks. At any point in my show, I can look over. I could see 400-something viewers, 500-something viewers, and a couple times we've gotten just over 600-something live viewers. Now, I never know what it's going to be, and I don't really give a fuck. But I look over, and I see it, and it, again, it is annoying when it's 424 and Only 200 people have hit the like button. This is breaking my heart. How? How? How is it always 
1.5. How? Always. Always. And again, I, I, I don't know. When it, when it gets, the bigger the number, the more volatile it should be, right? Like, I get it. If, if we're always around four or 500, you can probably always guess we're going to be around four or 500. Like, okay. Am I cheating? No. So, fuck. Rochi says it's normally 1.4. It's always 1.5 for me. Last week, they broke 2K for about 20 minutes. I just don't know. I don't, like, I know it's not enough to be like they're cheating on view. I'm not Kevin. I'm not retarded. I don't, I don't go like, use your brain. Use your brain is, is a thing people say when they don't want you to use your brain, ironically. Use your brain. You don't think they're buying views? Use your brain, dude. It's like, yeah, I'm using my brain. I don't. I'm always around four to 500. So how can I make fun of them for being around 1.4 to 1.500? You know what I mean? It, it wouldn't be fair. So it's, I mean, it, it isn't fair. By definition, I'm always around the same number. So does that mean I'm cheating? No. Does that mean they're cheating? No. But how? Any time of day. Now, if I go at night, it'll be different. Any time of day they go, 1.5. What does the BS show have right now? 1.5. Hello? Hello? Oh, sorry. Single mother of five here. I'm from the Midwest. We're dumb. Uh, on the on the views thing, uh, I've wondered that, too. The only thing I can think, like, your show, Kevin's show, it's, it's, it, you never know where you're going to get each day, where the Uncle Rico show is very consistent. Like, you know exactly what it's going to be, exactly what they're going to be talking about. Uh, it seems like people just stay, but it also wouldn't surprise me if Joe's doing something dirty because he just seems like that kind of guy. Dirty Joe? Yes. Um, all right. Thank I mean, you. I'm not oh, shit. I didn't mean to cut you off. I did not mean to do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought you were done. Um, it's obvious. Yeah, I love people who do that, too. Like, it's obvious they're buying views. How? I, w I want to get to where you're at. What information do you have that I don't have? It's obvious. I'm listening. I am listening. You know, this is Kevin's problem, too. He's like, why won't Melton just, just fucking say it? Just say they're buying views. It's like, because there's no indication. There's none. There's no indication. Not, not only is there, you know, no indication. There's no, in no one has anything. <laughs> so that's why I can't get there on it. Just for everybody curious, <laughs> Melton, why can't you just say they buy views? Because there's zero evidence of it. Not because there's some or not quite enough or I need four sources before I go with the story. There's none. Zero. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that that's where I am on it. I, I'd, love, I'd love to be the one that has proof that Truly is stealing views. I'd love to get there with you. The, 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 pack, the fact is, there's nothing. No one has anything. Not, not only is there no fire, there's no smoke. They always have around the same number of views. So do I. Where do we turn ourselves in? Not obvious, but seems like too perfect. Do you know what I mean? Like, it just, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not hanging up on people who call in with ideas or theories. I'm not shunning emails with information and screenshots. I'm asking if there's anything. Does anyone have anything? No. 
Just ideas. Just accusations. Just thoughts. Come on. You know they are, though. I I don't. I just don't. I just don't. So, look into it, Pat. It's obvious. Like, again, spin me around with my blindfold, pin the tail of the donkey style, and just point me in the right direction. Look into it. <laughs> If anybody has any stats on this, it would be like John's uh, John's neglected cat. Because I'll tell you, I'll tell you the only way you can really even formulate a hypothesis about it would be analyzing chat volume. It, it really the only way you could do it. And again, it wouldn't even prove anything. It would just show a trend or not. I I, I don't know if it'd be significant significantly. Uh, important but if you could prove that like sometimes they have 1500 viewers and they get 5,000 chat messages during a show so, or, or, or uh, sometimes they have 1500 viewers they get a thousand chat messages an hour sometimes they have 1500 viewers and get 102 chat messages an hour then you would go like how could there be a 15x different you know 10x difference in chat messages and and the same number of participants and then if you could graph that over time showing the volume of chat all over the place just like it would be for every other show and the steady number of of uh people in the chat not correlating at all to those chat volumes that would be a little something you could start to make sense of. John's Neglected Cat says he's doing that. Hello? Hey, man. So, yeah, you're all about it. It's, it's all about the chat. Their chat, it's like, it's so slow. 1,500, their chat should be moving. Thanks, man. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. But even, so even once we figure that out, though, John's Neglected Cat just started uh, the other day posting it. Again, it's going to take time. You're going to want to see it plotted out over a month or so. And even then, it isn't proof, you know? First of all, I want to see the difference. I want to see the difference. Is it sometimes it's half as busy as it uh, is other times? Or is it sometimes 10 times as busy as it is other times? Or 20? Or 5? I want to know what that, what that factor is. How, with it staying 1,500, how big of a variation are we seeing in the chat? And then again, even that, even when that happens, hey, some shows get more, more chats than other shows. Some episodes of a particular show get more chats than other shows. You know, if you have Ray on or Chad on, John's neglected cat has shown it. Like they're just super chat magnets. I I could simply just bring Ray on my show every morning and make probably hundreds more in chats of people just asking Ray things, saying things to Ray. You know, Angry Chairs is twenty five k views, one k likes. Yeah, again, I. I, I I don't I don't know. We're at what what 244 thumbs ups for 2700 views. So this show right now 442 live viewers, 244 thumbs ups, 2704 view, views, total views. Um but again, you got I, I you'd have to look at that across not only other shows, their show, and then really the key is the variance, I think. Hello. Hey. So, I mean, it's not like this is a legal case and you you need to be proven without beyond a shadow of a doubt. This is just really court of a public opinion, you know. So, asking for nothing but clear evidence is a little crazy. That being said, for me, the one time where I was like, okay, something is definitely going on here, and it's probably producer Joe, was when it first started to come up, the fake views, 
there was one day where the Shuley show was like, watch, I bet you tomorrow Brendan's going to have a lot of views. And then the next day, Shuley show was watching it. They were like, let's check in on it and see what happens. And then as that happened, suddenly Brendan's numbers went crazy. And then they were like, oh, look at this. Oh, my God, it's so funny. You know, so that's where I was like, okay, that's well, for, clearly. First of all, you've kind of ga- you kind of gaslit yourself about that event. There was no, they didn't come on the day before and go watch tomorrow. There'll be a bunch of, that didn't happen. That didn't happen. I'm pretty sure they did. They it were didn't. making like. It didn't happen. Let's see. It didn't happen. There was something there. It was, there was, it was one. There. It was the first day when Brennan was talking about buying views. Someone, and I believe, I firmly believe to this day, someone from Brennan's show who was watching went and bought Brennan a bunch of views. And then they brought it to the attention of Joe or whatever, who it doesn't matter whether they did it or not. They would, of course, flip over and start covering it and accuse them of buying views. But it does, it does like, I, I get what you're saying. Maybe it was somebody from Shuli Network or not. There were plenty of people in the chat room that day on Brennan's show saying, I did it. I'm buying them more views. I'm buying them more views. So I think it was multiple people, and I think it was a Brennan fan. But that definitely, the, the part you're saying where they were like, watch tomorrow, that didn't happen. All right. Maybe I'm wrong there. All right. Also, do you, you said on Kevin's show recently. Who's nobody, this? Wait, you don't know who this is. This is just a random caller. So you said on Kevin's show the other day that nobody can use your a photo of you without your permission. You own all the photos of you. Do you think that's true? Well, like you can't copyright. You can't yes, accuse. Yes, you can. I can take your, your photo. Copyright. If I take your photo in New York City with my camera, it's my photo and I own the copyright to that photo, even if you're in it. No, you can't. No, I'm pretty sure that's not true. You can't use my image without my express written consent and then profit off of it if that image you, is just up on the internet you fine but if you're selling that image I can that down. More, yeah you Get couldn't be more wrong on that no you, you can't just use anyone's image and profit off of it without their permission yes That's you not, can sorry, yes you can yes you can it, there's legal precedent to shut okay, that well, you're saying shut down. you're saying image and i think you're meaning the word likeness when you say image if you are standing outside in public I can take a photo of you and well, use that no, 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 to sell. No, I can sell it to paparazzi. To, to I can sell it to paparazzi. If, How do you think paparazzi do it? Get, no, no, no. But if you don't get permission from someone, you have to blur their face out of the background of a television why show you, or a movie. Why do you think so? Papar- like that, you need to have people's permission to use their image. Okay, I'm telling you, I know talk- this for a fact. Stop! As well. Stop! Stop! I'm telling you, you're 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 confusing two different concepts. Why do you think paparazzi exist to snap photos of people coming out of restaurants if they can't use them and well, sell them? Do you think they have to run? Paparazzi laws are different. Hold on. Paparazzi are media. No, paparazzi that's media. aren't media. No, that's... Anyone's media. We're all media. The First Amendment means no, no, we're all media. media. No, that's... You can't just say anyone's media. Yes, like, you, if you can. Work that's what the First press, Amendment is. You work for... The First Amendment no, makes us all media. Page. Stevie Lou, you're, yeah, you're I, I'm not, about... I'm, I'm, get a lawyer. I'm so telling YouTube? you, Stevie Lou, right. I, I'll bet you sell, any, sell Stevie some. Lou, I'll bet you any amount of money. You are so wrong on this. You just are. Yeah, just trust me on it. You All think right, you'll that, have to not you do think your show no for one, a month you, and I'll not do you, my show for a month. No, but that. you think if I took a photo of you out on the street that I can sell that for money without your permission? I could shut it down. I could say, hey, this guy's profiting off of my image. No, you can't. That's. No, you nah. can't. You Let's sound like Kate Meany. Do it, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm not right, near you to take a well. photo, but I'm just letting you know I own oh, the copyright no. to that photo. It doesn't matter what's in it. I sound like Kate Meany. Yeah, she's. You're like right, you can't I just take photos I of me. It. It's like yes, I can. <laughs> but this is the whole thing we're talking about, like this Bob striking Kevin with some video of Kevin that he's playing on his channel that he's copywritten. That's like, what the fuck, Bob? That's kind of crazy. First of all, well, they're dumb. First of all, again, the copyrighted, the images of Kevin, Kevin doesn't own them. The paparazzi that took those photos and sold them to an outlet, TMZ owns the photo, not Kevin, and there's nothing Kevin can do about it. You think Kevin could copy, contact TMZ and be like, that's my picture, I own that. All right. All right. Okay. Stevie, I, 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 I know I what you're that. trying to do. I know what you're trying to say. Look, I can't. Here's here's what you're trying to say. When I can't use your image, I couldn't. I can't legally go make Stevie Lou bobbleheads and sell them. 
Because that uh, that's me using your likeness to profit off your name and Im- image, and I'm using image in, in like likeness terms. If I see you anywhere and take photos of you, those are my photos and I can do anything I want with them. There's no expectation of privacy in public. When you're talking about people blurring people on camera and stuff, yes. If they had no if they didn't know it was being filmed, but that's why every block you walk down while they're filming, there's signs up everywhere. I mean, there's no movie. Yeah, you, you've well, never been watching like- a new Spider Man movie and somebody on the sidewalk's blurred out. That never happens. Right. Um yeah, with like the news they'll usually film from like the waist down. All right, listen, this is a good conversation. I appreciate the call time, and uh, I gotta run. Great stuff. I can always when Stevie Lou calls in, you can always guarantee he's gonna be telling you how something works and have it completely wrong. The idea, and he still thinks that. He still thinks I. You can't just use a photo of me. It's like if I took it, I could do anything I want with it. I could print toilet paper with your face on it. Stevie Lou toilet Lou Lou rolls coming soon, everybody. Oh my God, that Stevie Lou is such a law or ozar paparazzi law, more like pets a law. Am I right? Pick up a fucking pen, loser. Um, like I can't make steel toe merchandise and sell it. That's illegal. I did it anyway because I know that they're toothless. They can't afford hats. They sure can't afford lawyers. Uh, That was illegal of me to do. That's using someone's image, quote unquote. Again, using it in the term, in the, in the way you use the word likeness. But if I park across the street from April and Aaron Emmel's house and take photos of them all day walking to and from their car, like that is the whole paparazzi business. He's like, no, that's paparazzi laws. They have special. It's like, really? Tell that to Jake Gyllenhaal in the movie Nightcrawler. Or what was it? Night? Night? Again, all these stringers, there's no... If I decide tonight I'm paparazzi and take my camera out to a restaurant, I'm paparazzi. There's no course I have to pass. There's no law. I don't have to go down to the courthouse and put my hand on a stack of national inquirers and go, I hereby solemnly swear to be a paparazzi. Anyone can take a photo and sell that photo. As long as you took it, as long as you took it. I, I, this blows my mind. So this is why the whole uncle Rico, Bob Levy thing is like insane. Bob Levy looks retarded. I'm sorry. Bob Levy is going to come out of the, Kevin Brennan always looks retarded, but out of this one, Bob Levy is going to come out looking like a fucking idiot. And, and you know, that just is what it is. Number A, the Shuley Network and the idiots over there made a theme song using copyrighted images, okay? Images of Kevin's show that they screen capped, okay? And then put into their, their intro. Public images like TMZ and stuff, which were purchased by somebody from a paparazzi again tmz owns the right to those images not the anti karen show so that whole intro they took copyright images they don't own any images of kevin brennan and then they made an intro and then they put that intro secretly up up in a corner of bob levy's show so that when you watch it you're watching their copyrighted intro to the anti karen show and trap sprung gotcha it's like only only what? It's like you didn't even need that. You could just file a copyright for them sniping Bob. The thing up in the corner does no additional anything to help your case. Also, it's retarded. The only thing that little video does up there where you're like, no, we have copyrighted images up there in the corner. That way, now we can report you for copyright violations. It's like that just makes you look so stupid. You could report him for copyright violations just for sniping you doesn't have to be have anything specific on the screen. No one in this world understands copyright. It's it's really insane. And the more Bob's like we're going to, you know, spring that we already got it. Good luck everybody. It's like you look so dumb. You 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 look you just look clueless. It's like so in in Stevie Lou's world like Anytime anyone takes a photo of them, if that person says delete it, you have to. 
You ever watch Karen videos on YouTube? They're always like, delete that. And the, I don't have to. And the police are like, he doesn't have to. So, but I mean, just the whole Shuley Network's operation over there just looks like clown school. No, we made an intro out of copyrighted images, and now we're going to nail you for copyrighted images because we embedded it and hit it in the corner. It's like, what? No, we stole copyrighted images and played them, and then you played us playing them, so now you're in trouble. What? Hello? Hey, uh, don't you, uh, this is quad father. Do you think there's a chance that Bob Levy was just trolling Kevin Brennan, knowing that the copyright shit doesn't really do anything to him, but the way he did it was to get him to watch it right during the show. And you saw Kevin Brennan react to it and end his show and say like, Oh, I got to call Adam. See what's yeah, going yeah, on. I mean, look, they both look stupid, but I'd argue the guy with the unloaded gun telling everybody to get down looks stupider. And you're from Jupiter. <laughs> no, no, what, what and, do you uh, think? Now, what, always, sorry, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that's what sorry. I was going to ask you about. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, Steve Lou also thought recently that uh, Chad got the black eye the day after we signed the Tampa papers. It was like the, the inaccuracies in the reporting is uh, amazing. It's common. Yeah, but he just get like, that didn't happen where they were like, watch tomorrow. He's going to have a lot of viewers. That never even ha- That just didn't happen. <laughs> Yeah, no, I I know what you're saying. Absolutely did not happen. I uh, remember. Yeah, right. so, and what else? You had another question for me? Or? No, I'm just going to – you understand that, like, people can take photos of you without your permission, right? Yeah, absolutely. And once you post a picture of yourself, it's out there, too. That also happens. Yeah, yeah well, that's different. If, if Honestly, like, if, if you own the photo and I take the photo and print it on a shirt or – put it in a greeting or whatever, I can sue you now for using my copyright. It's my image. But that doesn't happen because there's no money in you, me suing you for that. But, like, Getty does it. You know, like, image image repositories and services that sell images absolutely yeah, hunt people down and prosecute With a watermark. Them. Right. right, so that they yeah, can even get without you a, later. Even without a watermark. Out. I mean, the whole, the whole uh, <laughs> Barack Obama hope image of Shepard Ferry, you know, that was a that was from a, a Time or New York Times or something, and and he just he modified that image and used, like, posterized filters on it and stuff. Yeah, but you took an original image that was a property of a media outlet, so they sued him for that. Like, you, you can't right. use someone else's work. It's not about who's in the photo. It's about who took the photo. It's about who painted about the you picture. It? You know, like like thumbnails. Say you took an entire uh, copyrighted picture, but then you reworked it. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, just Photoshop. Technically, it, and then, you can then be it's sued. Yours, then, right? Technically, you can be sued. This is the same thing again with the hope image of Barack Obama. It was it the photo of Barack Obama? No, they colored it to three colors and flattened it and kind of made it a cartoon. But. It was a derivative work that then went on to make a lot of money, and I think he ended up losing in court. Fair use is a blurry thing. It matters a little bit on precedent and a little bit on the judge. It matters how much of the of the original work did you use, how much of, of the original work comprised your new work, and and is there is there money being made? What context is this being used in? I mean, there's just a lot of moving parts. It's not a black and white science. Yeah. Speaking of which, cool, man. White out. (laughs) White out. Peace. White out, baby. Anyway, I just, uh, yeah, it has nothing to do with who's in the image. I mean, that would be just, how would that work in society? Think about it. Uh, Clyde, even the proof he shows isn't correct. When he broke down the financials, he based the numbers on them doing four-hour-plus shows. Uh you uncle rico never hits four hours yeah no this was just about trolling kevin kevin squirms over the money and stuff that's all it's about on the kevin side stevie lou uh is a loser can't talk on the stairmaster t.o hank t.o hank i can't talk i'm on a stairmaster i think it's called stair primary now you can't call it a master bedroom master master I don't know why they call it a stairmaster because slaves were never allowed in my gym. 
That's a fact. Uh, B Smiley, I hate Chad and Virtue Signal about my protest, but I throw Ray money. These people are insane. <laughs> there are people who get so mad. Chad gets mad. Why are you giving him money? Why are you giving him money? Give me the money. Come on, vaping. Sign up for my Patreon. <laughs> Come on, vaping. Vaping! Sign up for my Patreon. Vaping! Um, whew. anyway, that's all I wanted to say. I, I do think, yeah, Kevin freaks out about it because Kevin doesn't know what's going on either. But that's why, that's why it's funny. It's like these guys, I've never seen less. Again, I'm not a copyright law expert. There's a lot of nuance to copyright law, but like, I understand basics, you know, I understand the basics. You can't eat. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Slaves are not allowed upstairs. Oh, no. Quad fell down the stair. What? Who are you kidding? What, Jim? All right. Well, fuck off, everybody. Maybe I'll leave early today. Are we Mondays with Mazering today? Is Quadfather sniping me? You know, Quadfather's launching a new snipe network where all they do is snipe. It's going to be bad. Uh, Sean says, no one was, uh, no one in AC was more excited to meet Bob than me. Whether Bob was trolling Kevin or not doesn't matter to me. Bob, because Bob A officially yucked my yum. Hold on, why? Why did Bobby yuck your yum? KB and Bob both look silly about the copyright stuff. Yeah, I know. I, I know. It's just like one of them's like, we got the strikes. They're ready to go. You say the word. Your channel's done. It's just like, first of all, that's not even how they work. You can issue a copyright strike and not hear anything about it for weeks, or it could go down within half an hour. You don't get a say when it's all going to go down. Tonight's the night. Yeah, just didn't. I just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, one thing, they're sure there's a lot of stupid people being, uh, there are lots of stupid being thrown around. Bob's waiting for a baker's dozen before he s submits the strikes. Yeah, at one point he was like, I got five ready to go. It's like, well, three, you lose your channel forever. So, no, you don't. No, you don't. You couldn't even submit a fourth one. Do you understand that? The channel goes away forever after three. I got five. Load it up. This guy's fucked. He's not, Bob. He's not. I, I, I wish one of these guys would get a gun and just go over to the other's house and blow the other one away. At least that'd be something. At least that'd be something. This this like, I'm coming for you. I'm striking you. Oh, God. I don't even know. I don't even know. Hackamania. Get it or don't. I don't even care at this point. We're probably canceling it all. Today's executive producer, of course, Disgracy. We couldn't be doing this without her and her paste-eating child. Having a rocky time. Come on. Come on. First of all, I'd be happy if my kid eat paste. You could order just crates of paste. They would never want Happy Meals. You'd never have to take them to Disney World. They never want to get a donut or a milkshake or a ice cream or an animal cracker. Just feed them paste. Just feed them paste. And if they're so dumb they're eating paste, you just keep lying to them. Like, no, that is an animal cracker. That is McDonald's. Really? This white goo? That is Coca-Cola. That is Coca-Cola. It's white and pasty now. Tastes just like paste. Yeah, and McDonald's. Everything tastes the same. It's Soylent Green. Soylent Brown. It's a callback. I still theorize that KB will one day throw Bob more money and they'll be friends again. Maybe. Maybe. The fact is they didn't even have an agreement. This is why Kevin gets away scot-free. It's like they didn't even have an agreement. So... People who let stuff like this go for business and, like, don't have 
something worked out. Again, even a text agreement. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. There's several people in the chat room who owe me thousands of dollars. I'll never get, I'll never get it again. I'll never see it. Nobody supports me. Except T.O. Hank. Yo, Melton. He's the big fat, great big fat guy. Yo, Melton. Yo, Melton. Yo, Melton. <laughs> All right. We, we, uh, I, I probably got a, a whole Bitcoin's, uh, wow. Is this true? Bitcoin's almost 73,000. Thank you. I really don't know what everybody's waiting for. Again, I'm, I'll tell you, first of all, you have more than doubled your money if you put it in when I started telling you about this a couple, a couple months ago. You've more than doubled already. It lays still for two years and does this about every two, three years. It's, this 73 is going to double again. Mark my words. It's not too late. I'm telling you. This is not financial advice. I'm not a guy. This 73 will double again before it crashes. Mark my words. Get some. Coinbase.com. $5 a week. $5 a week. $10 a week. I almost bought five grand worth last week. I was going to buy another five grand. I was really going to pop it. But then I was like, uh, wait until it crashes. I'm telling you, it's just starting the run-up. It's just starting it. So, you let me know. You owe me an open bar at Hackamania? <laughs> Why? I don't remember that. Um, Because there's no contract, Bob keeps upping the amount. Yeah, you're never going to get... Uh, You're never going to get it. Probably not going to happen. Uh, Buck naked, no shit. Tukey is legit funny. Okay. I only wish I would have put 10 in. Well, you can still do it. You can still do it. And um, again, this isn't a short-term play. You set it up to buy 5 or 10 or 15 every, every uh, week. And just keep buying. Don't sell it. I know. This is what happens, too. People get into it. They're new. When this gets over 100K, if it's 73 right now, it'll get over 100. They'll start going back down, and people panic and sell it. And it will go back. To, it will crash to 50, 60, 40. I don't, I don't know what. The last crash was 17 from 63. But... Then it stayed at 17, you know, 17 to 20. It stayed there for a year, two years. And now it's doing this. And this will go up even higher. Again, the last high was 63. It's already at 73 now. It'll go to it'll go to 150. It will. And then it'll crash to 50. And it might sit for another two years. The 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 dormant period, the sitting there for two years period, I think will get shorter and shorter. Again, as more and more companies invest and institutional organizations start picking up Bitcoin to hold it as a store of value or hedge against, you know, state money. They'll start figuring it out. And I think those those uh, dips will get less and less, more and more. Here's some Venmo coming in. Who dis? Who Venmoing me money? I want it load. Oh, this is somebody who wants money. You know what? I'm going to give it to you. Every once in a while. Every once in a while, I'm going to give you the money. I'm going to give you the money. Some experts uh, expect Bitcoin to go to 250K. It'll go to a million. I don't, I don't think it'll, I don't know. I don't think it'll go to 250K this time, this, this round. But eventually these rounds will go away and it'll just steadily go up and be more stable. It's just super unstable right now. It's super unstable. Um, Peter Sky Parker, I bought in at 35K. Can you explain crypto wallets? First of all, again, congrats on doubling your fucking money. Um, can I explain crypto? Not, not here today. 
not here today, Nick Gurr, my favorite Nick Gurr. Uh, when do we know it's going to crash? Can I buy Bitcoin with EBT? Big Black is my cousin. Ray Ray is my nephew as well. April sucks me off. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> um, no, you never know. You never know what it's going to do. You never know what it's going to do. Come on. All the people who don't believe in Bitcoin, please uh, send me the money instead. Anonymous says Bitcoin is up 65% in the past three months. Yep. Yep. Again, Peter Sky Parker says he bought it at 35. So now it's 73. Congrats on doubling your money. Uh Mark my words, it's 73 will be doubled again. But Or just sit there and watch everybody else get rich and keep being a fucking poor. Keep saving up for $3 cans of NOS every, every week. You and your dumb wife can try the raspberry white chocolate Red Bull when it comes out and just keep living poor and wondering why your, your bathroom's leaking gas, your deer are bleeding out in the woods. Your children come all covered in egg. Just poor. Just poor. I don't have an answer. I, I can't, you know. And look, you know, the, the $50, $100 you throw in there isn't going to make you rich at this point. But I told everybody when it, when it dropped from 63 down to 17 and everybody was like, fuck this, Bitcoin's done. I'm like, no. Now's when you should be buying it. Spend two years buying it at 17 every week. Boy, what a genius you'd look like now. If you had been putting five or 10 bucks in a week at 17,000 since 2021, now it's, now it's going to be, you're going to look at your money and go, wow, I put $400 in and there's $6,000 in my account. That is something. Again, not life-changing money, but it is something. How are your other investments doing? How's Apple? How's Tesla? How's Amazon? Again, these things, eventually, you know, the stock market makes money. It does go up over time. No other investment is killing it. Like Bitcoin. So I guess be Chad and go, I don't know what Bitcoin, I don't understand that stuff. <sighs> Be Aaron, I guess. We don't really mess around with that Bitcoin stuff. We print banners and drink energy drinks. Okay. Should I come back in one hour? Should I come back in one hour and do another show? Double it up today? I was going to do nothing today. I was going to stay in bed. Should I come back and do another show? In an hour? Okay, I will. Your manner is most unbecoming of a gentleman. Would you be high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit him yet. They're full blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. The question posed to stupid hoes who don't get it yet Excuse me, miss, are you high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet They're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes All the laughter that you did for If you listen to the show, boy, Patrick Melton Melton faces have you stacking that no low point It's the low point, not the reason The reason is fucking gold That'll make the taco pony party be a party of soul to make you vandalize a van with a pedal sticker So bold the family probably get arrested before they get down the road